Hey guys, this is the uh, Kryptonite Council podcast with uh, me, Pick of the Hut, Rio, and Into Dave. And obviously, everyone's treating today like Christmas, and they're talking about the patch notes. So we're here to kind of decipher through all the patch notes and see what we think about the patch notes and share our thoughts with you guys. Um, Dave, what were your first impressions when you saw the patch notes today? I I liked everything except the Black Adam Nurse. Why, why? Why? Why would you like? Like, why would you not like the Black Adam nurse? You don't play Black Adam. You, it's just, it's just, it's just a, in it's general a, fairness. Because it's cousin, no, bro. It's no. It, my cousin doesn't even use Black Adam. He uses the Flash. I told you. Why are you so sensitive towards Black Adam then? Because I'm <laughs> consistent, unlike some of these fools in this community. What does that even mean? Because no, I no, nah, you're not consistent. You're, dude. You're so far from that. You just told us you were going to go get a water, and then you came back and you had like a Mountain Dew. Yeah. What? <laughs> what is that? Dude. Before we no, started seriously. this call, before we started this call, Dave was like, "Hold on a second, I have to get the diva water." So, like, he went and got a bottle of water, but he came back with like some Mountain Dew or something. All right. Aside from that, I'm usually consistent, and let me tell you why. I don't know, man. You can't. Usually, your argument already failed. <coughs> this is the thing. I... Do I use Black Adam? No, I don't even care about the character. But I'm consistent, and I want like. Here's what I don't like. Every time you nerf some of these characters very hard, mm -hmm. there's a chance of there being another cabal. Right, because that means all that means is character. You know, players are, not, are just not going to use that character, and then you're going to use somebody else. That's all that means at a high level. And look at all this. He literally, Trey got nerfed, Dive got nerfed, Lightning got nerfed, MB Lightning got nerfed, Black Back Dash, Front Dash, Combos. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. I mean, seriously, he got nerfed worse than Deathstroke did. I doubt that. Dude, Death. You know what? You know how what Russell Westbrook's still a good character. Stop acting like he's Do not. Do you know that good. what what it takes for me to say that? Seriously. I don't know. Look, look at all at, the changes, dude. I do see all the changes, but I don't see how all of a sudden he's such a bad character now. He still looks like a good character to me. Well, do you think he's top tier? I would say he's he's borderline high tier, yes. Seriously. Oh, you guys. I think that's just top ten. Blues till Black Adam. I think Deathstroke's top ten. I think uh, it's really good too. I think, I, think, I, think, I think Black Adam. Dave, characters you tend to say that suck end up being good. Have you ever stopped and realized that? Uh, hold on a second. I I, I never said Zod wasn't good. Uh, what what? Did you did? The first thing that came out, you were like, "This character is not that good." Not impressed. I'll pass. Dude, me, I was down playing. Seriously, oh my you god. Playing. Don't even play that off. Stop. You can't play I was, that off. Dude, I was afraid of this character getting nerfed because I know. Dude, so people no. already started crying about him. Stop. You're not that smart. Stop. Mediocre. There's, yeah, exactly. There's no way you thought all that up. Okay, here, here's the Because I would talk to you on Skype and you would cry about how the character wasn't that good. Here's, here's, the, here's the thing, though. Like I said, I don't use Black Adam. My cousin doesn't use Black Adam. He's a, he's a Flash player. But look at look at all these. Come on, man. Even you can see. Look, Trey got nerfed. More cooldown. Reduced duration. Dive kick more unsafe. More, minus 21 now. Lightning right, so he gets Trey back every nine seconds. Wow, from seven seconds. Holy shit, crime a river. It Oops. lasts, and his orbs last for five seconds. It doesn't matter. Is anyone going to be able to run away from Black Adam for five seconds? No, you want to know why? Because guess what? No one has Black Adam's runaway. What we'll runaway anymore? Dude, that is fucking horrible now. Dive kick's horrible. Have Minus 21 on block, dude. That's it should be death on block. Why, how do you have Minus this move <laughs> throw in from full screen and meter burn it to make it advantage? Are you serious? Dude, his has barely any whiff recovery too. His regular dive kick is worse than Cyber Sub Zero's now. No, Are it's you, not. Yes, it is. <laughs> Cyber Sub Zero's, <laughs> Cyber -Zero's <laughs> dive kick, which was so bad, a character could fart in the air and knock him out. It's true. Cyber Sub yeah. a dive kick. Who, if you would whiff it, you have to wait like an hour before you were able to move. Yeah, I, I used to get knocked out of the air by people's down threes. Like, I think. Did you seriously just compare Black Adam's dive kick to Cyber Sub Zero? Absolutely. I think you can make the argument that Cyber Sub Zero is better than Black Adam. His okay, dive kick okay, did but, barely any damage. Yeah, Cyber Sub Zero's EX dive kick did 18%. Uh, Black Adam's does like 48. At least the full combos. Wait a second. Wait a second. We don't know the damage, the damage reduction. Okay, 44. I mean, forty. <laughs> yeah. You know, it doesn't matter. I mean, how? I mean, he's, he didn't drop thirty <laughs> percent. Well, the, hold on. The juggle is forty percent after with with trait. Okay, that's a, that's light years away from eighteen. I know, but it's probably going to get changed because it says combos more damage scaling. Dude, come on! It's not going to be eighteen percent combos. Think about it. They stop. I know. Reacting. Like I, I, I just. Character. 
I just. I'm dude, sorry you can't dive kick on every character in the game now for free. <clears throat> Dude, even, dude, I look at all the other character changes, like, you know, like, usually, like, three or four bullet points, whatever. And like, 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 it was, like, ten of them. I was like, what the hell is going on? Why is there ten changes? And first of all, the dive kick is minus 15 if you hit it at their head. That's how, they, how, that's how they did the frame data. So if it's minus 21 if you hit their head, what if you aim it at their foot? It's going to be, what, minus 10? Some characters still aren't going to be able to punish it. Minus 10, get out of here. Minus Probably 10. is. Dude. Minus, minus 21 and be minus 10 when you hit the feet. There's no way it's going to be that. I'm just saying it's gonna factor off frames. I think, make it more safe. I think it, the ch the changes. Plus, you still have the meter burn dive kick. Well, we don't know if that well that got changed or not. You never know with these notes. It didn't state the meter. No, burn no, dive meter kick. meter burn dive kick is apparently the absolute same. Okay, there that's go. good. Then at least that's he is one miles ahead no, better dude. than anything Cyber Sub ever had. Just that alone. Well, so like a the trade's still good. Who cares if it lasts five seconds now? It doesn't matter. Most black items use it to end the rounds in a second and just dash up to you, or they use it in strings to get more chip and meter. What about and frame okay. advantage? What about the backdash? All right, so black Adam can't backdash out of all his problems now. He actually has to know how to, you know, use his six frame down on the poke back, use a yeah. meter burn back three, fight like every other character in the game. So what? In my opinion, the stuff like that fixes like the Nightwing matchup. Like you just can't dive kick all day and backdash, and and Nightwing actually can punish for back. <clears throat> okay, it just, it's kind of huge. <laughs> but you don't think he's gonna have some really bad matchups now? And I mean, really, bad. I took a same like stuff. Shazam, Psych, but who? Cyber. I mean, I'm sorry, what? Cyborg what? is gonna destroy him. <laughs> if you drunk, you Dude. go grab a beer instead. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Cyborg, <laughs> come on! Even you guys can see it. Is gonna mop up black adam if a really good player like relaxed state Wait, or why would you compare the backdash nerf to getting in on cyborg what dude how si how okay. does backdash getting nerfed equal to oh yo cyborg's match gonna be a lot harder now yo gotta run away but what the damage particularly because the damage he needs here's how he beat cyborg before he gets a lot of damage and he just turtles him out but that's i'm pretty not sure he still does good damage i think that's gonna be seven three 7-3, okay. Aquaman is going to be like Adam now. You guys know that. You guys know that. Don't even say anything. Wait, his lightning isn't unsafe. Uh, he can still do the game. He still wins in chip trade. Yeah, Five and, all of, sudden, Aquaman and all of a sudden Black Adam jumps in the air. Dive kick! <laughs> what? I mean, the match seems the same, it's, uh, same to me. Just he can't backdash and miss screen all the time now. If Which he didn't do anyway. He didn't run away from Aquaman. Thing, look, look what they do to Black Adam and look what they do to Aquaman. There's hardly any changes. Same with Killer Frost, bad girl. Dude, a Black Adam, in case you don't know, is a different character from Aquaman. Black Adam has more mobility than Aquaman. He does things differently. They're not going to nerf the character the same exact way that they would that they would another top tier. Well, I think if you're going to go that hard on Black Adam... Okay, so let's see. We went down the list. Trey is now not as good as it used to be, but still really damn good. Yep. Dive kick now... Oh no, you may be able to get punished for using it now, which, okay. And he does slightly less damage. What else? And he can't backdash out of everything now. He has to use universal... His front dash also works. Yes, for, his forward dash is nerfed as well. Now what, two everything, everything is nerfed. Everything. It's everything except the EX dive kick, pretty much. Oh, how, badly, uh, uh, how badly was his forward dash nerfed? Did it say two frames? Uh, yeah. Dude, that's barely noticeable. That's still way better backdash than half the cast. The, the meter burn lightning... Is now minus one, not plus eight. It was never plus three. It was always plus eight. That data yeah. was wrong. So it's minus one. It still pushes you back half screen. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I think the pushback is probably still the same, but minus one. There's, you know, you just recover a lot quicker and you can move. You know, you know. I feel like I feel like because you know it's plus eight. You have to respect <coughs> the next move because it used to have an aerial hitbox. It's no longer going to have an aerial hitbox on. Uh, the normal one's not going to have an aerial hitbox. But I think the meter burn version is still going to have an aerial hitbox from the way the patch notes, patch notes look. Yeah, it's going to be similar to Superman's uh, Ronald on laser, pretty much. Mm -hmm. So it can never hit you in the air. Yeah, it's going to be, well, but, but his yeah. meter burn version, according to the notes, it doesn't mention that. The meter burn version will still hit you in the air, but the normal one won't. All right, you know, you can probably make a case for that. We won't really know that until... Well, I'm looking at the notes right now. It's yeah, I know, but some of some ambiguity, and we're not sure. I'm yeah. just saying, man. I think they went way too far on a character, and usually what that means is 
uh, people drop the character and just use another top tier. It makes the game more boring, less exciting for wa- less exciting to watch. That's all I'm saying. Even though Black Adam's still a good character. Well, apparently Rico Suave is quitting the game. That's what I read on Twitter. And why is that? Because Black Adam got nerfed. Yeah, because Black Adam <laughs> got Why else would he quit? So, let me get this straight. We should leave Black Adam the way he is and make all these other Shazam, saw. Bane, and, and etc. players quit the game because Rico Suave is threatening to quit the game. I mean, I'm sorry, but the world doesn't revolve around Rico Suave. <laughs> there's other top tiers, man. Take a pick. Yeah, there's Aquaman now. I'm sorry, but when Scorpion got nerfed, and I was told, ha ha, bro, character got nerfed. Now what you gonna do, Rio? Gonna quit, bro? I didn't cry or quit or anything. I just chose another character. Deal with it. Not my problem. Yeah, now everyone's gonna have to deal with your character. <laughs> Seriously, deal with it. And Black Adam didn't even get touched as hard as Scorpion did, so shut up. It's very true. I think Black Adam's gonna be fine. He's just he might not be top two, but he's gonna be fine. He'll be yeah, good. He's still good to me. I don't see how all this means. Oh no, he's now bottom tier, useless, blah blah blah. He can't do this and that. His lightning strike's still good. My mm-hmm. bad you can't snipe people out of the air with it anymore. I'm sorry you can't backdash out of everything now. I'm sorry your dive kicks uh, can't be punished by you know eighty percent of the cast. I mean, what more do you want? You still have a retarded wake up. You still have a dumb jumping game. You still have a very abusable trait. You still have strings that are plus on block. You still have a six frame down one. Kara does a lot of stuff still. You still can use interactables because it's black magic attack. So, Rio, what was the first thing that you noticed about the patch stuff? Well, I was skimming through the patch notes, and what caught my eye was when I read Martian Manhunter, and then I was just like, what? Well, <laughs> what do we have here? <laughs> Hitbox increase versus teleport? Back one three, hard knockdown removed? Don't care because I have like a million other setups to, you know, go for the cross up teleport setup. Yeah. And I'm surprised he didn't get touched as hard as I thought he was. That's why I dropped him a month ago. Because I was like, you know what? Play this character enough. He's going to get nerfed to the ground. But to my amazement, he's still the way he is. And I'd probably say he's probably a little better now because... Now that characters can't jump around like retards doing one and, you know, you couldn't hit them with the downward teleport. Yeah. If, if, if his downward teleport hits them out of the air now, I'm mm-hmm. not sure how big the hitbox got buffed. But if it does that now and characters going to have to fight on the ground, dude. Okay, so, so like, what I usually try to do if I have meter, I'll try to back three the teleports. If I don't have meter, I'll try to jump back one or neutral jump one, and that sometimes will take care of both teleports, but a lot of the time I'll take care of the overhead teleports. I think what these patch notes are telling me is I can no longer can jump back one or neutral jump anything. I have to sit there and take it on block, or I have to do a meter burn back three. Exactly. That's kind of what, what I was thinking. Uh, st- uh, trying to say. God. Now the characters can't play, you know, leapfrog guess, bro. You're going to do the straight teleport. I'm going to try and make you commit to the teleport that comes out of the ground, so at least if I block it's punishable. Yeah. Now I can just throw with the overhead one, not care if they jump or space to jump one or whatever and just have it hit. And they didn't say that that they removed the huge hitbox on the ground behind them. So even if you dash it, it'll still hit you sometimes. Yeah, yeah, he has a massive collision hitbox. If you dash through him, you'll st- the butt of Martian Manhunter will still hit the character. It's, it's huge. It's like an interactable. He, he becomes an interactable when he teleports. I'm just um, surprised he hasn't got his, you know, the, the amount of meter he builds nerf mm-hmm. dealer because he builds a insane amount of meter while he's zoning with orbs and pillars and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. Surprises wake up push hasn't been nerfed because the hitbox in that is insane. Insane. You can't jump it at all. You can't do much yeah. right. What what is it on block? On block it's minus five or six. Did Dave get, you're not punishing it. Did Dave get butt hurt and quit? Oh he dropped. It's, yeah, it's, he it's, dropped. It's, it's, it's not the call. Kind of looks like he left. I know, it looks like he left when you're, like, reaming him about Black Adam and he just ditched out. Um, the, other, the other things, like, just looking at the patch notes, we'll, we'll go back to Marsh Manhunter in a second, but I love, my favorite feature in the game is the offline restart match, where you can just pause it and go to instant rematch, and it, apparently it'll take you right back into the match. Oh, yeah, that too. That is probably that in the, you know, the instant remake ability to choose that and the things how they did you know they've they've reworked the balance things mm-hmm. to have, take less damage yep. for your bar and they change a lot of the interactables around mm-hmm. i would say those are the best changes and then the character changes i mean it even did one for online instant rematch option 
you know, it says you now have the option to rematch instantly. And I yeah. think I think it's rumored uh, something about you'll be able to skip all those win poses. I think uh, like I, I don't I don't know if you could do that. That'd be amazing if you could skip all those freaking win poses. Did they state that? I don't. No, no, they didn't state that. But I've heard that from random people. They're just like, you know, hopefully they'll get rid of those win poses. And then I saw that, and I'm like, instant restart. That means instant. You know, yeah, let me just press start and go to match reset like immediately. Yes. Yeah, so I'm hoping that's what it is. But um, and then you have arena select. Oh, that's the one thing they basically fixed our tournament rules problems. They they basically said player two will always be randomized. Player one will always be randomized. So mm-hmm. there's how we do the stage pick. Everyone just pick a stage. Like you have to pick the stage your cursor is on, and that's your your random fifty fifty. Yeah. Um, and, and the building meter slightly reduced the amount of meter gain on specials that can be canceled. That doesn't really. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Now, Batgirl can't do that thing. Where's Dave? I don't know. Where's Dave? I'm trying to add him back. He's not responding. Here, let me see if I can get him in here. Uh, if he doesn't come back in, we'll add our, our, add our other backups we talked about. All right. Let's see. Okay, well, Dave is messing this up. <laughs> but anyway, um, what's this whole thing about back three? Has more damage now or something? Does it? Did they say they gave more damage to back threes? Or yeah. was it? I thought it was you take less damage because of the armor. I think so. I'm, I'm texting Dave right now. All right, basically the thing on... I haven't seen more damage on four threes or back three, but if there is, just correct me on that and I'll go into it. But anyway, on the four threes and back threes, when you do a uh, meter burn and then you dash cancel, my theory as to why they gave it that is because, let's say, you know your opponent has a, is sitting right next to the car. They're going to throw it, and you're like, I have to take this. Like I can't really move. I have to get in. Now you have the option to use a bar meter to do a four three bounce cancel, absorb the car hit, and take half the amount of damage you, you originally would that would have probably killed you. So it's a good oh, trade-off. You use yeah. one bar, take less damage. Oh, so and you does, use one yeah. bar, you take half damage. Wait, wait, do you take half damage now in the game? I think No, right now you take full damage. So if you do a 4 through bounce cancel, you know, someone does an uppercut, you'll take the raw damage from the uppercut. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, I see it now. Okay, so you take half, half percent of the damage, and then you dash in and punish them for throwing an interactable at you. Yes. Okay, I totally see it. Okay, that's really cool. That's a, that's a really good thing. Meter refill in practice, that's just kind of annoying. That I mean, it's good that it's fixed. I like that it's constantly on now. It's a default. That's um, the first thing to do with practice mod. I press start, go to full yeah. meter. <laughs> I, t- I turn button log off, and I do full meter. That's, all, that's what I always do. Uh, then it's just little things like DLC characters now in the archives. Not that, not that big of a deal. Um, we're going to try to add Dave back in the call. I think he's ready now. Uh, let's see. And then when he gets back on here, we get to... Oh, I think right, it's I <clears throat> Where'd you go? Oh, my bad. Did you get my text? Um, they're doing some good construction and it's around here since Dude, I just. It's like twelve it. o'clock at night. It's twelve. <laughs> oh, what is, what I know. Live like construction. <laughs> I don't know what happened. It's like, but it might just in the color completely. So my bad. Construction. Really? But anyway, here's my point. Are you guys still in Black Adam? No, we different? were talking about completely different things now. But wait, I don't know. Wait, what? Hey, what? Cons- call? What? What? Yeah, cons- it's it's almost one a.m. in the morning. What are you talking about? I don't know, dude. What you're doing? Is there like, all outside your house swinging around? <laughs> no, they're doing some stuff, and it's just you know I can't even park in my driveway. That's how bad it is because they cut the entire street. So uh, I don't know what's going on. But here's the point. I even heard. That Smargasm is switching to Martian Manhunter. That's how yeah. bad this is. Yeah, Mar- Mar- Martian Manhunter and uh, Aquaman. Okay. He's, he's, Why do you those think are the two he's painting. Why do you think that is? Uh, because he wants to win at the game. I mean, yeah. if you're going to go to tournaments, why would you not want to play Martian Manhunter? Okay. So that's, like saying, that's like playing okay, MK9 and being like, I don't want to play Cabal, but I'm going to travel to all these tournaments. <coughs> so... Okay, you guys are pretty much admitting the, uh, the Black Adam. No, I'm not admitting no. Black Adam's. That, that's like saying, yo, you should drop Sonya. She's a bad character. Come to Cabal. <laughs> that's, not, that's not what we're. You know, Black Adam's not going to go to Sonya anymore. Get, get out of here. I know, at least Sonya able to fight our close. But anyway. <laughs> Damn. Damn. You guys. No, I'm kidding. I sound like I hate Black You guys really have don't. to admit this, man. This is not debatable. Black Adam was over nerfed. He's still good. 
He's still good. Don't tell me what character was over nerfed, please, Dave. You don't even know what that feels like. I know what it feels like, dude. Don't, I know. Don't, don't even bring him up. Don't, don't even say his name. Death took low gunshots. There you go. No, he's still good though. Well, he may be good now because they buffed us straight. Someone we'll see about that. He may be good now. So you're saying he was never good? No. Really? Do you know? You do know that he got a lot of nerves, right? Even more than the than they listed. You know he got a lot of buffs too, right? He did like irrelevant ones. Yeah, like, wake up buffs. Now he has full invincibility no matter what he does. Dude, I'm gonna talk about this, dude. Deathstroke's buffs completely irrelevant to everything that he's lost. All right, well, all right, Dave. The <coughs> first up? character, the first character on the list is Aquaman. This is a character, in my opinion, that ha had the, for how good he is, had a minimal amount of change. It says up from nine seconds to twelve seconds, his trait cooldown. I, I, I think. I, I mean, if there's, all right. First of all, I'm really, I might, I'll go and say this. I'm pretty positive on the patch. I'm actually very positive about the future of the game. Well, I don't know about the future of the game, but I'm pretty positive about the patch. I'll just say that. I don't know if the future of the game is going to be good. Well, that's yet to be seen. But I'll say this. I, I kind of have a problem that Aquaman has a, a special move on block that does fifteen and a half percent again on block. And it's eighty percent of a bar too. Yeah, and it builds 80% of a bar, and if he has four bars a meter, it's like 62% on block. And the regular one does 5% on block. Yeah, and so, so let's think about this. He can, he can get to 62% on block, and he'll build, and if he does four of those, he builds about three bars a meter, and he can just do, hell, he can do 100% on block. <laughs> Pretty much. He has to dictate when you use your meter, too, because you have to push block sooner or later. I wonder if anyone in NRS thought about that and said... Wait a minute, this might be a little OP. I mean, the fact that he could do that if he had full bars and meter, that's, uh, that's just kind of annoying to me. But <laughs> the, the, cool, the cooldown, I think, was deserved. I would have traded the chip on Trident Rush and told him to keep his Water of Life shit or whatever it is. <laughs> um, but I think, I think probably Undisputed, Aquaman's going to be top three in the game. If, you know, I think he already was top three. <laughs> but uh, he, he could be number one with Martian Manhunter now, in my opinion. Here's the thing I have with the patch note thing. Okay. It says the cooldown on Water of Life character power is increased to 12 seconds, up from 9 seconds. It's not nine. But, yeah, that's, that's the thing. I go to training mode. I take out my stopwatch. And just in case you guys are going to be like, whoa, real, your stopwatch is broken, bro. I have three stopwatches. And I, and I use my cell phone, too. So hold that. <laughs> so I use three different stopwatches plus my cell phone stopwatch. I sat there counting for 10 minutes. I'm like... It's eight seconds when you do the trait, and then bef and I'm mashing the trait button to see how long it takes for, for it to come back. And it's eight seconds, the cooldown. It's not nine. So what I'm getting to is when it says it's going to be up to 12 seconds, are they adding four extra cooldowns since eight right now? Or is it really going to be 11 because someone miscounted? Yeah, that's a good point. I th he, well, this is what I want to tell you. I'm playing, playing to win Sinestros again. You know, he and I go even Zod against um, Sinestro. I pick Aquaman, I beat, and he has no chance. Like, what else do you need to know? And I'm not even an Aquaman player. I mean, there you go. I'm just yeah. saying, I, I like to know that the patch notes is Water of Life going to be 12 seconds or 11? Because right now it's not 9, it's 8. Well, I think all of us know that for sure that move probably shouldn't do like, what, 16% of chip or whatever, whatever it does now. Uh, I. I I mean, it could stay that way if they made a full combo punishable. I I just think he could be like. Everybody knows he's going to be very strong. Everybody's going to use him. People already, you know, like we said, Smarg is already one of the high level players who's quitting his, you know, his. This is what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking about. If players quitting certain characters, then just going to onto the next best one, onto the lead, quote unquote, least normalized characters. It'll be Aquaman and Marsh Manhunter. You're going to see a lot more of those two characters. I think especially Aquaman, because people are a lot more familiar with him, because, you know, Marshman is still kind of a newer character. Mm -hmm. And the only person who's been kind of using him is Rio. But Aquaman, a lot of people know, a lot of people have always known that he's a good character. Just, you know, they didn't want to pick him up because they knew, okay, like Adam and Superman, that's where the easy ones are. All right, but I don't, I don't who cares if there's going to be a best character, so what? I, it's not about being, is he, like, the... <laughs> the best of the best like really you know like above is he like a step up of everybody else Aquaman yeah I think he could be you'd have to go through all his matchups and then see I know but 
we don't know that. We won't know that until months and months into the game. It's like we didn't know about Kabbalah and Kenji until much later. Everybody was saying, oh, yeah, look at this mm-hmm. patch, man. The game is balanced now. Like, and then people realize, wait a minute. Can she? With well, hold up. Kabbal was, he wasn't nerfed. Was I know about people, people were saying, you know, when the, when the black emphasis were removed, you know, he's balanced now. What are you talking about? And like, like, dude, let's look well, at Well, hey, this. bro, look, we're seeing that right now. Martian Manhunter and hard knockdowns removed. He's balanced now. Come on. But that's, that's what I mean, though. Like, this, these are the dangers of nerfing one character way too much and then leaving all the others almost the same. This is exactly what I'm talking about. And you ask, ask why I'm concerned. This is why I'm concerned. All right, but it doesn't matter what they nerf against Aquaman or Martian Manhunter. The next batch of characters are going to cause the same issues with everyone. I'm saying... You don't nerf one character too much and leave other ones the same. You don't make the game "quote unquote" balanced that way. You just make it worse. That's my opinion. Well, I mean, it would depend on your definition of worse. Well, if you're trying to get more balance, you don't make it more balanced by leaving one character almost the same and then nerfing another top tier character significantly. That's true, but I'm saying, if you look at it, doesn't Aquaman have to play kind of different for some of his matchups? No, he does, and he's definitely. You know, not as good as uh, like pre patch Black Adam or pre patch Superman. Would you but, say characters like Shazam, <coughs> Bane, you know, characters like that, would you say they have a chance against Aquaman? I'm honestly, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I know, you know, like uh, Zod does well, but it's Zod, dude. It's Zod. Even Deathstroke does well, but then again, you know, not anybody has a 10 frame, you know, full screen. Uh, projectile, what about some of the other characters? I don't know. Well, maybe Aquaman players, you know, were never that good uh, to begin with. I mean, who knows? We don't know. That's what I mean, though. Yeah, well, what, what, what if what if Tom all of a sudden stop, starts winning tournaments and says something like, man, I, I, you know, I got 33rd place at TFC on purpose just so my character would get, you know, stay the same or something like that. <laughs> like, what if the Aquaman had, like, this uh, covenant, like, behind the scenes, or like, we got we to suck, we got to suck for a while. That'd be and funny. Then, and then the patch comes, and they're all of a sudden start winning every tournament. Oh, that'd be funny. You guys want to move on to Ares? I mean, the, I mean Aquaman is insanely good. He's not denying that. He's insane. I, I I think he's really good. High damage, high defense, high zoning, high rush, great dash. Um, most people can't do much about his from the deep. I mean, you have to be in the danger zone to try to punish the from the deep. You know, danger zone meaning the jump two range, jump three range. Uh, some characters can't interrupt that. I hate when people say there's no character winning. Uh, there's no one placing high with him. That's why he's not that good. Oh, uh, hello, MK9. Who placed? Who placed Wakanti first year MK? Zero. Exactly. Was Kenji yeah, yeah. not that good? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, that's exactly what that dude said that I bodied. And um, what major has Sonya ever won? Is she a shit character now? Exactly. Like th- 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 that's the argument when I said. Um, why is Zod top five? And I told that guy, I listed the reasons why. He's like, but dude, bro, he's never done anything in a tournament. I said, so you mean to tell me with Kenshi came out like in October or September, August, like he was bullshit then and then he just magically got good like six months later? Like, no, <laughs> he was always good. You know, you just have to find him. So. Yes, you got to tap and, into the character's potential. And that's the, that's the guy who was in my winner's finals in my pool at TFC and I bodied him. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I you know I think we could all agree that he's going to be top three. I mean, I don't think that's even debatable at this point. But Who? Uh, Aquaman, Aquaman yeah. yeah. But how good he really is, you know, we really won't know. So, well, let's move on to Ares. I think Ares got significantly better. Um, <clears throat> he got significantly more interesting. I'll put it that way. Like his two-two is now going to connect. That's been a problem forever uh, mm-hmm. with his two-two not connecting on some ducking opponents, and you know the super whatever. Like Lex can't interrupt it now with a probe. Like, if he throws a probe out and Ares does a super, right now the probe will hit him out of the super and it'll stop it. He'll waste four bars a meter. So they fix that. Um, and I like the whole, like, you, you can make the teleport basically safe. I, I think it's going to end up being safe. And they added, like, two more locations to where he can maybe mix up, like, uh, he can go up for 50-50s. If he reads that you blocked it and it's unsafe, he can end it with a teleport, kind of like Freddy did. Actually, Dave, you might be interested in Ares soon because he he's going to have Freddy's kind of mobility with that teleport. True, uh, and I'm you know I, I've considered. I'm like you know definitely, and it says you know he can meter burn the, you know the the teleport now mm-hmm. to improve the recovery time, which is going to be really interesting. That's going to you know as we always keep saying, it's going to give him a better 
wake up attack. It's pretty. It's probably gonna give him a safe wake up attack for that. You know, right? Am I right or wrong? I would agree. So that's. But his zoning, it really isn't. You know, obviously Freddy like we know that. But he could be an interesting character, and I think you know maybe he could give, now, maybe a character like Sinestro some issues. You yeah, know, I think I, I agree. I agree. Now, now, now he's a threat to Sinestro. I find that matchup interesting. Maybe even Deathstroke. So you know, because he really has to be careful. If you're gonna throw a projectile, and he he meter burns it and combos you. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have a lot of issues. So See, I the think buffs they gave Ares are interesting. They're not boring. Like this yeah. does more damage. Like you know, they gave him they re they gave him a new move to teleport. Let's go backwards yeah. now. He can run away, build a meter like that. He just has a wake up. You know, covers a lot of his weakness on the ground. His crappy mobility where you could never walk yeah, anywhere exactly yeah. can now move around the battlefield i mean i i like aries man he's fun i, I like doing one one two ex fireball with the mix up one one two down four i mean I, I think that's kind of a fun mix up um and now he can mix up the teleport with it one one two like i wonder if you can do things now on block where you do something like one one two ex teleport behind him and it's safe and then you go to another 50 50 end it into an ex teleport but in front of him do another 50 you know i wonder if you could start doing that kind of stuff now if the teleport's safe you know i don't know if it's punishable but you know and also if it's a faster teleport faster recovery does that give him you know what, what is it like he has like a he has like a three, like a three down two move and can you like do a meter burn teleport now faster recover giving you more options to continue that combo you know, like you know, most like definitely a, can. Yeah, three down, two teleport. Right now, I think after you get a down one, you get a, it's, you get like a few things. We got to be super on uh, super on point. Yeah. And now with the meter burn thing, it opens a lot of opportunities for combo. So not only is it going to give him better mobility and options to get in, but he can now use it to extend certain combos and hopefully get more damage out of it. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing it right now. He can do like one, one, two after tele after three down, two teleport. He can do like one, one, two, and then like you know whatever you want to do for an ender. But I'm sure he has better shit. Um, so I think these areas got some of the more interesting changes. I think that he might be an interesting character. and He could be a matchup changer. Like, you know like what? You said, huh? He may also have, because I know Zatanna has this. Zatanna can do strings like 1-1-2, one, one, meter burn, teleport behind you, cross up, be at advantage. You can't move. you got to block her follow-up strings. Yeah, that's what I'm Even saying. Ares could do things like 3 down to meter burn, teleport behind you, have frame advantage, then continue your offense. Yeah, that's yeah. that's exactly what I'm talking about. Like, I'm I'm very curious about what he's going to look like now. Uh, what is three down two is plus two, and and then he's got like uh, the back the, the back two one, that's uh, plus three. Yeah, three down two has a lot of cancel advantage. You you're able to do three down two, back. I mean three down two trait back dash, and your opponent can't really do anything to stop that. So hmm. if you can do three down two meter burn teleport, I'm sure he'll have a lot of advantage. At least to follow up with a down one. Yeah, so that, that's gonna be interesting. And that you know that overhead, you know, can he do? Oh, he can do three down four. I didn't know that. Yeah. 50. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't play Aries. Okay, so I might play Aries now. That's that's interesting. <laughs> I like that. But um, you guys, you got to say anything more about Aries? I like his buffs. I think he, I think he may become hell for some characters. Yeah, I, I think he could be a problem for some zoners. Um. I don't think he's going to change the Zod matchup that much. Probably not. Probably annoy you more now. Yeah, he'll annoy me, but I don't think it's going to be like a, a game changer. Like, I think it's Zod's favor right now. And it might be, I don't know, it just might be a little bit more annoying. But um, Bane, I think, is another significant uh, character with significant changes. What do you guys think about Bane? <clears throat> I mean, the Venom, the, you know, the damage reduction he gets while he's in Venom. Mm-hmm. I see that as okay. It's kind of good because if you're in a combo, you take less damage. But then your venom runs out, and then you're just open to you can't get hit now. Otherwise, you're gonna take a huge amount of damage. I don't know how I feel about that. I guess it could come in certain situations as a lifesaver. But then again, I feel like the downside is so big that why would someone want to try and use it as a ghetto water life? You know, to take less damage. Yeah. But at least when he has it up and he's, you know, slotting on wake up, you know, people like to mash wake up just to give you damage. At least you'll take less damage when you're in that state bullying them. So it's going to, you know, have people not want to press buttons and just try and block and wither the storm. So they're trying to mash out as much damage as they can. Yeah. Um, Dave, what do you think? I mean, I think. I think. I don't think this character was ever really dead low to begin with, in my opinion. I think he was probably mid tier. Mm -hmm. But these changes are like, it's these changes are only like for Bane player, for a true Bane player. You know, if somebody picks up Bane now with 
you know, all the top tickers, you know, getting nerfs. Yeah. It's, it's only going to matter for them, you know. So I think it would be very interesting if somebody actually picks up Bane, you know, main them and, you know, what, what he can do about, you know, what, what he will be able to do with the character. And this would be only, you know, these changes are only, only, reply to those, only apply to those kind of players, you know. This probably won't matter for, you know, the average Bane players, but this is only for, you know, the true main, you know, Bane players. And I think, you know, it will be interesting to see what somebody can do with them, especially, you know, now since a lot of the top tickers are worse. I, I don't know. I'd say that Venom uppercut is going to apply to a lot of Bane players now because when it's blocked and you have a bar meter, I think you could pretty much make it safe that Well, I don't know the frame data on the, whatever that drop kick he does after the Venom uppercut. Yeah. But if that's safe or even advantage on block, that's going to be very good because then you don't want to press buttons when he does an uppercut because he could just delay the drop kick and hit you. Yeah, but it depends. We really, we really don't know the specifics. Yeah, we don't know, but I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah, it's it could create a mind game in your person <laughs> pressing a button or not, because they might get hit in the face by a drop kick, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so, so moving on to Batgirl, you know, just some quick changes with her. Like Zod can no longer characters like Zod can no longer duck duck her cartwheel. Like Sucks. like like, <laughs> like and I know, and he used to be able to duck her overhead cartwheel option. He could duck the overhead cartwheel option. Uh, you know, obviously block the medium and low by ducking, and then punish. He could punish with like a down two combo or like a uh, standing one. Like one one low laser combo, um, it, it basically served like like a whip cartwheel. Um, he can still parry the cartwheel, so that's whatever. Uh, the ducking that's, light yeah. can now be parried. Uh, the size of the hurt box for her character is now vulnerable to more. Well, you know what that means. <laughs> Martian Manor can now get a combo that gets two percent extra damage. <laughs> that's good for me. Yeah. I can um, manor her. She's yeah. too small. What do you guys think? I mean, she's gonna be top five, man. That's what I'm thinking here. I'll say. I think. What do you think? I'd say top eight the worst. Top eight yeah. worst. I agree. Top eight the worst, and she could I, be top five, but top eight the worst. She still has some hard matches. She is. She does uh, Aquaman, obviously one of them. I'd but, say Killer Frost is one of them too. Yeah, but she's gonna be very, very strong. Dave, I still think Zod does well against her. I think so too, but it, it's she has that you know meterless war decks, and that's. It's mm-hmm. always good in any fighting game, and it's, yeah. it's also good in this one too. So yeah. she's gonna she's, be very, very strong. She's frustrating. I know she's tough. She is but, frustrating. Um, yeah. Okay. Then, then basically, Batman uh, mechanical bats regeneration went to nine seconds up from six seconds. Thank God. Um, probably, I, I can't tell. I, it. Yeah. I, w- I mean, I wouldn't say it would mean that much. He's still gonna. Okay, he has to turtle for three more seconds to get a bat out. Big deal. Yeah. If he's yeah. smart with having his bat recycling out, he's gonna have calculate every nine seconds. Okay. I'm gonna use a bat here and then and whatever. Yep. I don't see it as that big of a nerf. He's yeah, still gonna be. It's still gonna be probably the best trade in the game. Yeah, I think he's fine. Um, then I think the bigger hit is increased recovery time on back two three when it is it blocked our misses. Yeah, but the thing is, we can't tell. Like, what if they only added a few frames, or what if they added just like ten frames? I heard he gets the rumors. That, yeah, the rumor it's not really significant. So, oh, okay. I think it's mostly about the you know the character power, the mechanical bats and. <laughs> People don't realize, man, if you play somebody go like, you know, Forever King or even, you know, Rio back then, it's just, it's just you ridiculous. Can't move. You can't, no. Yeah, scared of pressing the button. And I'm tired even of King that I'm playing. He knows a good other character is because he uses him. You also, sometimes you have to block for 15 seconds. I'm yeah. not even kidding you. I'm not even kidding him. Also, that. can we please have a frame data correction fixed for the damn bats? It doesn't come out. They don't come out in five frames. They come <laughs> out in like two or three frames. Yeah. So basically, you have this character power. Batman can call upon these projectiles that fire at you in three frames up close. It's like playing against Cabal from UMK3. He has a three-frame move that leads to a full combo. It's like plus 50 on hit, and he gets a full combo. Yep. Yeah, and we, you know, we were thinking that we would, that would change the meter burn battering, so that's, that's, always, that's still in there. I mean, this character is going to be still good. I mean, whoever See, says... Look, here's the thing. He does a string, which how long does it take to block a string? Like, let's say he does like one, one, three. That's what? Three seconds of blocking. Then he ends it with meter burn battering. Another three seconds of block stun jumps in string. It's like nine seconds already. He already has a bat charge up. Then he'll do a string, cancel into bat, mix up. Dude, he's still going to be very good. No, it doesn't change. You know, I don't think it changes almost anything, except maybe the Aquaman man, man matchup, but you know what else is new, so... Yep. So he's going to be fine. Yeah, and uh, the only other change was a straight grapple can now be evaded, you know, by Flash and yeah, or those parry. characters. Yeah, yeah. Well, well you can't, it can't be parried. 
No, I mean, uh, like, let's say you're up against... I, I'm not talking about parry, like, Killer Frost parry. I mean, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. projectile parry. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Because before in the matchup, Batman <clears throat> could be like, oh, better watch out, Raven. I'm throwing out random grapples. Better not move your arm. Now Raven could do it. Actually, she could read that and do the parry. Yeah. Or she can do She has to respect it and duck or block it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so we already talked about um, Batman. Now, on the Catwoman... Catwoman could be a little bit more interesting. It says the meter burn version of the Cat Dash now has two hits of armor. And both the high and low uh, feline evade now have one frame of startup. That's kind of a, yeah, whatever. Um, I feel like it should have been like that. Yeah. What's better? I mean, now it's twice as fast, so. Yeah. Like the, well, well, yeah, that's true. The, in the Cat Dash, you know, she has a much better way to get in. But people who don't spend, you know, if you don't spend a bar a meter to stop her, uh, from trying to get in with a meter burn cat dash, so she'll blow you up with high damage combos. I mean, so. now she has a chance to get in on characters where she can make a read. Looking at you, Batman, and Killer <laughs> Frost, <laughs> and other characters with two hitting projectiles. Yeah. Um, yeah, but remember that the, you know the armor is not instant. You know, that should also be that's mentioned because it takes a you know she has to do regular. Cat but man, dash before, before Catwoman players would release the dash, you know, from full screen, they'd be like. Man, if I see Batman even lift his fingers to throw that battering, I'm going to meet a burnt side. Can't do that. But now, <laughs> you better just let her inch her way up now with that cat dash. Well, actually, she, you know, she, she still can't punish Batman. He's just going to be mid or burn, you know, and she, he's going to recover it's, instantly. I mean, it so, is Batman, so, yeah, so. He, always, he does have a plan for everything. But at least, yeah. you know, it will help. It's meter Deathstroke. for meter. Yeah. It's going to help against Deathstroke, meter for meter, so. Why, why, why? Why would this character not do well against Aquaman? This, this strikes me as a character Catwoman? that you, can't, you well, this strikes me as a matchup that you can't anti-air with with Aquaman, and you can't play in that like outside sweep range because that low whip. I mean, you have to kind of like why is that matchup so well, it's bad? It's hard because you know? every time Aquaman is near you and does a string, you're, you he ends in Trident Rush. You take five percent chip, and then you can't get in again. You have to, it's always trying to get in and in. Okay. And when you do happen to score, you know, when you try to get in and hit him with a string, he always has trait to save him. There are ways around that, but still, it makes it difficult. So the trait nerf helps matches like Catwoman? Yeah, of course. Yeah, okay. Um, Cyborg, this is kind of funny, it says loosened the input requirements for grapple, special move when performed within a combo. That just basically means, you guys suck, we made it easier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, full activation for the repair circuit. That's the health regeneration trait. Is now two seconds down from five and regenerates double the amount of health. I mean, I don't. We, we're going to have to see that to actually know how good that is. I mean, Man, it's, it's, really, it's only again. I think it's only going to matter for two players: relaxed state and you know, uh, jailhouse. Uh, yes, exactly. Yep. And uh, you know, Cyborg is not a technical character. You got to be able to do. You know, this game still revolves around you know doing. Did you say he's not a technical character? He is a technical character. Oh, is what okay. I'm saying. Because he, you pretty much have to do. Perfect, you know, instant, you know, aerial fireballs to use that character at a high level. Obviously, 99% people can't do that. So it's just, you know, it really, it, these changes only matter for the, you know, for the best out there, in my opinion. Wait, hold up. If I'm reading that right now, it says his health, his health regenerates now in two seconds. It lasts two seconds, right? Down from five mm -hmm. seconds. He can't hold it for five seconds uh, anymore, right? I guess. And it says he restores double the amount. How much was it before? How much health did he restore? Two, 2.5? What was it? Oh, health? Yeah. Um, here, I'll check real quick. I want to say it was something like 8. Wait, every every second he got 8% health back? Oh, I don't know. Let, let me check real quick. I'll check right now. I think it was anywhere around from 1.5 to 3%. Yeah, it's not a lot. It's not. I don't think it's 8. It's not a lot. I, th yeah, I think I, I was thinking I, 8 I tested train mode, but I can't tell because it doesn't have a negative n number come up. This is how much health you yield. Uh, but anyway, yeah. let's just say it says... Every second back then, it restored two percent of health, right? Uh huh. So you were you were able to hold it for five seconds out max, and then you have uh, two times five is ten. So you got ten, you got ten percent of health back if you if you held it up for five seconds. Now they said they doubled the amount of health you get back, so it's four percent every second, and you get to hold it up for two seconds max, which means you do a knockdown and then trade charge it two seconds, you get eight percent health back from total. I mean, that's pretty good. That's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, that is pretty good. It'll be interesting to see how cyborg players use it. Um, and that's, that's basically it. The only other yeah. one is fix an issue where you are unable to perform cyborg's forward or back grapple from back, the down back or forward uh, position in advanced controls, whatever. You know, that, that really just applies to two people. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, 
<laughs> Who do we have here next? Deathstroke with what? Some buffs? More buffs? <laughs> Talk about it, Rio. Go for it. This is this is you and Dave. Let's see. Deathstroke here. Got another trait buff, which now it's. I mean, it. I would say it's pretty good frame reduction. 60 frames now, as opposed to almost 90. That's pretty significant. Which means it's going to be a lot <laughs> different to do a combo into a knockdown, get a trade out. I know back then he was able to get it on certain characters, but now it's going to open up a lot more characters he can do it on. It lasts three seconds now instead of five seconds. Which, okay, that's reasonable because he does have a startup reduction. And then the cooldown also got increased to six seconds from three. Dave, could Destro be top five now? I mean, the trace sounds pretty good, man. Absolutely not. Top five, absolutely not. But he's going to be uh, better. I uh, Can you tell me what's Zod's trade startup? Is it like 30 frames, something like that? Or is it... Um, If I were to guess, I would say 26 or 28. Okay. So this is still like... Twice as slow, pretty much. Yeah, it's it's twice as Okay, slow. but yeah. Zod's trait doesn't give you unblockable bullets. No, I, I understand that completely. Here's what I here's my what I'm thinking right now. For tournament players. Deathstroke is still in my opinion like a footsie defensive character. If I wanted a defensive defensive slash footsie character, you know how I would use? I would Aquaman. use the Aquaman. So Destro sounds fun now, but if I'm trying to win, I'm I'm gonna absolutely use Aquaman as a secondary character. I mean, you think about it. Okay, what does that have to do with discussing the Destro buffs? But I'm just saying, well, these buffs are good, but at the, they're not good enough know, for you. You asked me whether he's top five. You asked me. Top, uh, no, he's not. not. I think picks it as a joke. Well, he's not even. I don't, I'm not sure. He's a top ten now. He could be. But I'm just saying, if That's a pretty good treatment. I mean, I know he got damage reduction as well on top of that. But, I mean, characters are not going to have to get shot in the face for free when they get knocked down. I mean, well, it's good. some characters, not everybody, though. It depends. Yeah, of course. But I mean, 25 saying. frames of reduction, I mean, that is a and lot. That is of, significant. Yeah, on top of the trait improvement, he's also got a super buff, which now he has nine additional frames of armor. <laughs> okay. now, 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 now it's usable. Yeah, now it's usable. Oh, now it's usable. I, here's what I think. Like I said, I'm my perspective. The low shots right now, poor version of Aquaman's tried. I don't think anybody would deny that. So, but the high gun shots are still good for almost everything, you know, anti zoning, you know, you name it. But again, he's good, but still, I don't think he, I still don't think he's top though. He could be top 10. <laughs> he could be <laughs> he inching be. his way top 10. He could be inching his way to the. I'm sorry, that's not good enough for you, Dave. It's not because there are better characters out there. That's what I'm saying. It is what it's it is. Fair enough. <laughs> well, here's a character that got better, Doomsday. He now has, you know, his Venom is already good. His Meter Burn Venom is already good. Now he has an extra hit of armor on Meter Burn Venom. So, you know, he, he has an easier, e even an easier way to get in. Oh, wait, what's that? Armor. What's that, Batman? You now have a <laughs> problem with a character that can get in easily and knock you down and abuse that shit wake up? Well, I'm going to have fun. It's going to be fun for me watching that matchup in tournaments. I'll say that. <laughs> Killer Frost, she doesn't care. She still mops him up. So what? Yeah. You go through my daggers. Doomsday doesn't even want to be anywhere near Killer Frost to begin with. I, th I, think, I think Zod still beats him. I'm not worried about that matchup at all. Yeah. He, I say the most matchup of change is Batman. Yeah, absolutely. But not to say it's bad or anything. I mean... It, before, what Batman used to be doing was a pretty convincingly. Now it's probably what he close to even. Mm -hmm. So, it could be, yeah. Um, so that's really the only other change. Uh, the other one was a character power glitch that they fixed. Now here's uh, Flash. They Flash got another buff. He got improved the hitbox on his flying uppercut special move. So Junior's got to be happy about that. <laughs> Hold up. You nerfed his damage though, dog, and you nerfed the uppercut. How? Yeah, this character needs more buffs. What 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 are they say? What do you mean? What what a flying upper? What move is that? Is that down back three? No, it's his six frame. Yeah, uh, attack. Six frame. Oh, like, which, like down back two yeah. or something? Or, yeah. No, it is down back three, right? That that probably, okay. It's probably going to be more used as an anti air now, or just hit people better. Because I know up close it whiffs on certain characters. They probably fix yeah, that yeah. aspect. They probably down. fix that. Like Martian Manhunter could stand next to Flash. Let let let, let me just say something about. <laughs> The Flash, and I'm tired of City Junior and Zyfo even Cyfox now making ridiculous statements. This character, I'll, I'll tell you, the damage numbers are, I highly doubt it's going to be more than 5%. You know, I, 
you know, for the combos. Well, hold up now. Instead of doing 60, he does 54. You heard he his <laughs> ass now, man. What you read Twitter? Dude, no, seriously. Yeah. He's what some people in this community don't understand. I don't know why. Listen, you get a trade combo, right? You push him all the way in the corner, please end your combos in the Sonic Pound. Do you know why? Because now you get a 3 50 50 mix up. The meter for the Sonic Pound hits. Uh, the the close one hits from the front, the medium one hits from the back. Whatever hits, you get thirty one percent. So get it, fifty five plus thirty, eighty five percent. To a mix up that you cannot react to. How is that bad? How is that trash? I don't understand. Because we're all ten bad matchups. <laughs> get to it. <laughs> ten bad matchups. I just don't. I don't understand how this character is. I think he is top ten for sure. He didn't lose almost anything except a couple of, you know, like points of damage. But he's going to be very, very good in my opinion. I agree. He's still very good. Yeah, I think Flash is still scary as shit. When I play Harold, um, you know, it's it's unlike any other Flash I play. I mean, Harold goes toe to toe with me every round, every match. It, he is by far the hardest Flash for me to play against, and it, it's tough. And um, I don't know. I, I, you know, I fear, I fear, I fear Flash, man. He's tough uh, behind the right hands. And just, uh, just one more thing, you know, even if the mix-up gets blocked, the meter up Sonic Power, guess what? Isn't he like plus 9 or something? He's like plus 10. Block again. So, there you go, block again. It's like, no, don't even... This character should... Nobody should whine about this character, ever. I think his biggest nerf, I think his biggest nerf by chance, or by far, was uh, the down 2 going from plus yeah, 9 to minus 11. Yeah. <laughs> that, uh, that's actually the nerf I agree with the most, because... Me too, me too. You, yeah, you can't have an uppercut that crushes mids what in the world like i'm doing shazam's 2-2 two, two string into whatever and he's down twoing after the two before the second two comes out interrupting it. i'm like what that's a mid and he's just ducking on everything and then it's plus so he's like down two down two down two and you just try yeah. to stupid but it's, i mean it's probably still gonna crush mids fine keep that property but if i block that shit you better eat this punish but it, it's it's not a game changer. It doesn't mean you know. Okay, this character is gonna be bad now. You know, it's like I don't know about you, but playing Flash that could mash uppercut up close for pressure on stop. True, true. Annoying. But, uh, I don't know. I, I play Master D, and he doesn't. I mean, he uses it, but not like uh, you know. I mean, he's so many other things that it's like you know, it doesn't really all matter that much. Besides, Batman got nerfed. Like Adam got nerfed. You know, like. Superman get nerfed. There you go. Like that's all your bad matchups. Who got a lot easier now, right? Sorry, you forgot about Martian Manhunter. Junior says Flash isn't good. <laughs> Dude, Junior, it's <laughs> just funny. Okay, I, let, I think this character is going to be fine. He's top ten. That's what I say. And his super nerf. I mean, it's whatever. Okay, instead of doing, I mean, he's still it's still one of the one of the more damaging supers in the game. Thirty four percent still good for a very fast super. Yeah, I agree. All right, so the uh, ne next character is Green Arrow. I agree with this. He got um, he got his head box on his low arrows, like the uh, low ice, uh, like the sea <coughs> and fire. Um, he got that buffed. That's pretty That's, big uh, now. It is. It is pretty big because now he can possibly win a lot of his like own characters play. like Harley that want to be like gunshot, gunshot, gunshot. Gun now he's just gonna be like, hold up, bitch, low arrow, low arrow, low arrow. <laughs> you know, it's just gonna yeah. change some matchups. Yeah. And of course, G's happy. His, his his other buff, <laughs> yeah, his other yeah, he's probably gonna be next tournament like Oh, I could do this now? Why don't anyone tell me? It's matchup so easy now. And dude, his his other buff, the stinger, his slide now, now he's a safe wake up slide. He can do a slide similar to, to Doomsday Shoulder if it's blocked. Oh, it's blocked. He confirms it's blocked. Does meter burn. Now he's at frame advantage up close. So now he can use it to get in too, kinda like how Doomsday can with the shoulder, minus the armor. Even even on, even on block, right? The regular one yeah. is like twice the same. It, it, it says used no, to be like minus thirty five. No, the regular one's like minus thirty, dude. It's no, it's just, his slide, his slide. But it says the special one that has a frame advantage of minus. 30. Yeah, the the you couldn't meter burn it before on block, only on hit. Okay. He shot the arrow. But out look, it says the, even the regular one is safer, and the meter. Oh burn yeah, it's, get, it's still combo punchable though. I know, but do you know like maybe against some characters could be safe now? I don't know, but like. Uh, uh, so everyone has a down one that's at least okay. faster than 13 frames. But still better than, you know, why is it minus 25? Why was it ever minus 25? That's true, but, I mean, you got to look at it this way. He's got, like, a reptile slide <coughs> that he can meter burn and make frame advantage. Not, I know, now it's different. Yeah, now it's different. But I mean, certain matches, finish, were, yeah. Yeah, a certain matches were green. It was hard for Greener to close the distance and, and get in now. That kind of solves the issue on that. Yeah. And it's shitty wake-up game, too. So that's, like, two birds and one stone kind of thing. Yeah, that's yeah. definitely needed. This, this was needed. So yeah, I, I agree. That's a that's a big buff. 
I, I like it. It's a, it's a big buff. I mean, Green Arrows need to stop complaining now. Um, Seriously, and they kept their damn um, string supers that they, that they were all going like, man, they're gonna take the last one away. Mm -hmm. so they still have that now, plus all yeah. these. So, and the only thing that changed with Green Lantern is he removed the two frame OTG window after the meter burn. Lantern's might. Um, I don't really think this is such a big deal right. because he's probably yeah. still gonna get his forward three, you know, mix up after it or the back one. It just won't be a true OTG. I heard it's still there, but now it's a just frame now instead of a two frame window. Oh, so it's just hard. it just requires more skill. <laughs> a lot more. All right. Interesting. What happens if they whiff it? I could be wrong, though. I mean, maybe they did remove it. It's okay, just what, what I heard. What happens if they uh, whiff it? What do you mean? Like, if they go for the, the OTG and they do back one and they slide under, like dead space, do they recover? Or can probably you, just, you probably just whiffs and you wake up. Okay. I think it doesn't really matter at all to me. And you know how people cried about Superman's forward two? Mm -hmm. Well, guess what's next? His back one. Because some people realize how annoying that move is at mid-range. You realize you can't even move against him when you're mid-range. People go, people are going to start crying. So mm -hmm. like, back one, back one, back one. You're like, okay, now let me just block this. You know what? Let me try jumping back. Lift, combo, into 50-50 or something like that. And people will not like that. Hmm. That's all I'm going to say. It's interesting that Harley Quinn... Harley Quinn, Harley Quinn got nerfed. Uh, her down yeah. two is actually now a minus fifteen on block, and uh, you know, it's, it's down three. Oh, the sweep. down three. Yeah, the sweep is now, now minus fifteen. And, I wouldn't uh, really call it a nerf. I'd call it more of like a fix because right now it's plus four on block, but <laughs> unlike every other sweep in the game, it doesn't give a hard knockdown. Now it now it's actually going to give a hard knockdown. So it's kind of like a fix. Oh, okay. They, they buffed honest. it in the hard knockdown aspect. They made it minus <clears throat> actually combo okay. punishable now on block. Uh, yeah, and then they fi and they fix that you can no longer interrupt the uh, the mallet bomb super move yeah. after it has connected. So there's a yeah, fix, that's but, but but the bag of tricks is a nerf. Yeah, no more yeah, five is seconds. It, is it is it the that's the character power, right? Yeah, it's a trait. Yeah. Okay. yeah, man, that was fat. I mean, Salt Face uses that thing every five seconds on the dot. It's annoying. You know, gun, 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 present, gun, gun, present, present. Yeah. Christmas. Dude, gun. the most <laughs> interesting uh, buff they gave her, in my opinion, is making her. Back two move have more range now with an with an improved hit or whatever it is improved hitbox because right now alone back two the low gunshot she does that has pretty good range so if they gave it even a bigger hitbox that's pretty good oh, oh god I just noticed that yeah that's a pretty good low and I mean I, I I would honestly trade the sweep nerf for that shit yeah because her back two the low that has a lot of range I, I think it's her uh, yeah normal has the best range out of out of everything do you know do you know after um, frost slides. And um, like, like if you're Harley and Frost slides and she tries to do a down one or another slide after you block the slide, if you do an immediate back two, she steps back and she steps back out of the range of down one. Oh, wow. And, and if you do back two, the back two stops the slide before it hits you. I did not know that. So it has a, kind of an evasive property to it. Yeah, it, it has an evasive, exactly. Hey, man, it, giving that move a bigger hitbox, I mean, that's a win-win for me. Yeah, so now it's really good. Potentially blow up a backdash. I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah, that's that's interesting. Um, hot, hot girls next. The meter burn version of the mace charge will now auto correct and uh, force opponents to block. That sounds like a fix to me. This is actually kind of like a buff too, because let's say you do it against a small character like Catwoman, mm -hmm. and you'll block the mace charge. You'll be really close for some reason. And Catwoman will be crouching, and then the second part comes overhead comes, and you pass through Catwoman already, and you just whiff it. So now they're gonna have to block. It's gonna be like a cross up overhead. It's gonna auto correct or make her face automatically towards the character. Hmm. So the overhead can't whiff anymore. It's gonna always correct. Okay. So now, mm -hmm. yeah, if you're putting that wonky uh, situation with Hawker only block, <coughs> and you think, oh, the meter burn immersion might whiff now, it's gonna cross you up now. So you gotta block it cross up. Hmm. All right, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, it rarely happens. It's rare to see, but at least when it does happen, it won't randomly whiff. Um, All right, let's, uh, the, the what about the Joker? Yeah, Joker Acid Blossom now consistently has a block advantage of plus five regardless of stance switch. Now, is that a buff? That sounds like a buff to me. Either that or the frame data is wrong, because right now the trait, I mean, his uh, Acid Blossom on block says plus four. So, But they wrote plus five, so I'm a little confused. Well, they're probably, they're probably wrong frame data. It's probably really plus five the whole time. Yeah, probably. And the, but I think, dude, I think crowbar is huge. Yeah, that's that's big. The block advantage of minus four. Safe down now. From minus, yeah, it's safe. It's a way to get in. Yeah. 
It's a way to just, check people. Yeah, well, sweep well, distance. Well, well, it actually, it actually kind of buffs. That kind of buffs his trait also in a weird way because now you can end any string with a minus four move. And why you know that right there is a perfect trait setup. You can exactly. go for the low trait or the high trait setup. So that kind of makes the trait better. It it gets him a, a better way to get in, use his strings and offense, push you to the corner, you know, teeth mix ups, and then oh shit, you blocked it. I'm gonna attack. Oh bitch. That's trait. really good how you brought that up because look, if you block a crowbar and you go to immediately to retaliate with a six frame down one, mm -hmm. taking it into human error, you're not gonna just frame that one after that, making it come out in five frames. But the trait yeah. when it takes one frame to start up, it's most likely they're gonna get hit in the face by Perry. So yeah. That's good. Another yeah, thing is, yeah, most, pe it, most people low attacks, most people low's attacks in this game are slower than their mids and overheads. So you would probably just always do the one frame standing, you know, period. <clears throat> yeah, he's pretty much, the range on the crowbar is just like Zod's back forward three, the palm. No, it has more range, actually. Yeah, it has a little bit more range. So you have like a save mid-range tool that you need. So you can just you don't have to worry about anything. All you have to worry about is meter burn. Look, stuff. before at sweep distance, Joker's best option was to throw teeth or jump in three. Now that he has a safe overhead he can use to harass people with, he's able to sneak in a ton of sweeps now from that range. So that's going to open people up a lot. Yeah. 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 yeah, the meter burn version on the crowbar, too, I don't know how much advantage it gives specifically. It just says that they gave it advantage, which means maybe in the corner when it hits you, you could set up free teeth in the corner and then get a free safe jump set up. I'm probably asking for too much there, but I mean, that would be really good. If he at well, least gets free teeth set up. Yeah. And then it's funny you brought that up. Like, he, he either has to now get in currently with teeth, gunshots, or just crazy jump threes and stuff. But now that he can actually get in with crowbar, I mean, that's the last thing you want next <coughs> You don't want Joker next to you at all, and you definitely don't want Joker next to you in the corner. So yeah. now they get, they just made him better to where he can get he has another option to get closer to you. So I, I think I think it's a good buff. I think Joker Cobra players buffs really huge. I think yeah, Joker players are just kind of like, Ugh. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Um, Killer Frost, they they fixed her parry. You know, there's a lot of commotion about this today. Basically, what it is is now if she does the frostbite parry on an armored attack. There's a bug in the game where she's guaranteed a free attack afterwards. They removed that. So now it just trades, and you're both kind of neutral. No, it's, it's, a, it's actually like this. If okay. This is the one I'm talking about. When, you, when your opponent does a meter burn 4-3 and you parry it with the meter burn frostbite, when you mm -hmm. go to hit them when they're frozen, they're gonna, they retain their armor hit. So you can't... Like, oh. let's say I freeze them, and I go to do like a 4-3 from clashful damage. They'll absorb the hit, and then they'll recover in time to move. So... It's pretty much oh. buff. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty much fixed the glitch where, <coughs> yeah. where your character retains yeah. your armor when you parry them. Oh. Yeah. yeah, so if they do a meter burn, like right now in this version of the game, because this happened yesterday, if you do, um, if you're playing Killer Frost and your opponent does a meter burn 4 3 or meter burn back 3, if you parry it, they're in an animation while they're frozen, they're going to retain their armor. Okay. I think, yeah. I think, you know, this is just a minor fix, but she's also another character that. You know, black oh, it's a works. buff baby. Yeah, she needs it. Superman, you know, got, she's gonna be so, only so much better. And uh, interactable nurse, or so, you know, it's true. Has she issues did benefit that. a lot from this patch. Yeah, but now she can't parry Zod straight, so hold that kill for us. Doesn't need to. <laughs> <laughs> she can get in. I know she can, but I'm just saying though, she she's she got so much better though. You know, just indirectly though. Yeah, indirectly I'd say she benefited the most out of any character in the yeah, game. Yeah, any character in the game. I definitely agree. So she's well, also like a top five candidate. I would yeah, say she's top five definitely. Yeah, I agree. Um now Lex Luthor, uh the Lex Pros will now always put the victim in hit stun when hitting inside of a combo. I kinda called that on the last podcast. Yeah, that's and good. I was spot on. That's good. Um charging the lance blast will now result in significantly We also called damage. that too. Yeah, that's good. Overall hitbox adjustments to make combos more consistent. Okay. Um, and then Aquaman can no longer use his Water of Life character power to escape Lex's super move after it connects. <coughs> so, yeah, okay. Um, he's going to be, yeah, just better because, you know, like, he doesn't have to worry about, like, Superman. It's a really bad match. So, you know, he's going to do better against, you know. I still want to know, yeah, I still want to know how much damage the Lance Blast does fully charge. Like, will it do 20? Right now, those 10. Yeah, it might do. I hope it doesn't do 12. <laughs> yeah, it would be a like significant like... damage increase, 10 to 12. Like, what? I think it's going to probably do at least 15, I'm thinking. I least. would think 15 to 20%. <clears throat> yeah. Like 18. 
That's cool. Um, Maybe 50. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I'm <mentioned. laughs> 50. <laughs> zone, sun, zone with that. <laughs> Like, what about what about Lobo? I'm really like Rio. What do you think about this? Man, Lobo. He's I'm, a completely different character now. He's changed from everywhere. From, I mean, even strategies changed with him. He's just he's not the same character he used to be. In my opinion, he can, changed the most out of any character. Do you think I can do nuclear shells and zone with that? Probably. I mean, you could do it, but I wouldn't base a strategy on that, Dave. Okay. I want to play. <laughs> Let me go pick up Lobo and zone this dude out with the shock. No. Does I heard. They have like three fourths, you know, like cover three fourths of the screen, and they juggle, dude. That's very good. That's very good. So you'll be able to punish like try it now, like, oh my god, like I don't know, like, pretty much a yeah. max range almost, right? I'm pretty sure his his down nuclear shell blast is gonna cover like three fourths of the screen. <clears throat> it's a huge low explosion. Yeah, I, I have a feeling that if you can punish things like Aquaman's from the deep. Uh, you know, being in that range already, Lobo has the two-one low chain, the, and then he'll have two-one nuclear shell. Um, I think Lobo could easily be one of the most improved characters in the game. He's he's very interesting to me. He's not a pig character, but I don't know, man. I'm he thinking, could I'm, he could end up being top ten too. Yeah, I'm thinking about him. I, I I like it. I like what I'm seeing. I mean, the overhead yeah. buff is huge yeah. as well because now he can has he has mix ups outside of sweep distance. Yep. Yeah. He could mix up with his low chain, his overhead chain. Now he has a wake up because it comes off quicker. The uh, he has two hits of uh, armor, so now he can get in on characters like Batman. Yep. He's overall just improved, and his super is now overhead. That's good. Because before the hitbox was really bad, like it would he would swing the chain over you, but it just it wouldn't have a hitbox above him. Like the chain, you would see the chain go through your, the character's body, it wouldn't activate. So I guess they kind of fixed that by making it overhead. Yeah, I think Ares and and he are, have the most interesting changes, right? Would you guys agree? Yeah. Yeah, those two definitely. I, I would say Lobo by far, though. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then Marsh, you know, we talked about Marsh <coughs> Hunter. Marsh Let's Hunter. see these. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Wait I a mean, minute, that downward teleport has a bigger hitbox. Yep. Now? Did you just notice that? When I read that, I was like, yeah. I was like, Dave, am I reading this right? Yes. Dave, do you realize what that, like, I don't think NRS or anyone that works in that whole fucking building understands how good that character is. And well, hold on. Here's my logic behind this. Okay. In MK9, best character in the game was an Earthworm character who defended Earth, right? In this game, what is Martian Manor's intro? He says he will defend Earth, and he's fighting for Earth realm. So, I think NRS wants <coughs> the best character in in games that they released, at least for the new gen. On being under the company NRS, they wanted to be a character from that defends Earth. So you had Cabal, now you have Martian Manhunter. <laughs> he says, "Okay." The downward phase assault now, can now hit opponents who are higher in the air. Yeah, but do you, you, before the hitbox was so bad, you could jump up in the air, do like Green Lantern. Yeah, I know, I know. One, yeah. Just beat him out of it. So I guess that's all gone. Does it still cross up? I guess it does. I, I don't see that they removed it. Yeah. But, hold up. They Look at that nerf, though. What's that under there? Yeah. Back 1-3, no longer hard knockdown. Doesn't mean much. Mm. He could still have, He has all these orb setups that go into cross-ups. He has... Moves that end. Let's say he does a tele push, and you happen to not tech it that one time. He could be like, "Well, let me go for that overhead cross it mix up." Mm-hmm. He has so many ways to open people up. Yeah, he's gonna be really, really. He's like top three. I mean, I'd say candidate for the best. Oh really? Yeah. Debatable. Yeah. That far. Hit Aquaman. Yeah, I agree. I think oh, he's. Wow. I, I think if it's number one character in the game is between Martian Manhunter and Aquaman. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> What about Nightwing uh, here? The last, the last hit of stab. Uh, this is like with the Grundy, okay. right? Yeah. With the, the Grundy. I know with on Joker yeah. in the corner. The Grundy. With uh, on Flash. Catwoman screen, for sure. Yeah. Catwoman for sure. So now he gets the the full advantage, right? Yeah. On everybody. It's consistent on everyone. Bad news for Ares. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, how much do you guys think this helps? Eh. It just makes matches more consistent. He doesn't, have, he doesn't have to have a strategy for, okay, well, this match, you can't do this strategy. Let me think around this. And I, he just plays now. I don't know, man. Like, when I look at this description of the fix or buff or whatever it is, I see it as, okay, well, this just needed to happen back in April. And the fact that Black Adam got what he got, you know, these other characters got what they got, I think that helps Nightwing. I think Nightwing is, is going to get better by a product of the other characters getting taken down a little bit. Exactly. What do you think he will stay? I don't know, man. He's he's very interesting to me. I don't know. I I need but to. But he see... supposedly has a good, like so he supposedly has a good match against Aquaman. 
And if yeah. he does, that's going to make him very, very worthwhile at a tournament. Well, maybe maybe we could, you know, we saw the rise of this character, rise of this character during the MK. Maybe we can start seeing the rise of certain characters throughout the uh, tournament season upcoming. Maybe Nightwing will show off in NEC or Final Round or, you know, SCR. I don't know. Yeah, I, I would be really interested to see, you know, to see somebody, you know, really go with them. I really want to see that. Rhea, are you, are you happy with what they did to Scorpion? Yeah, dude, when I looked at Scorpion's buffs, thank God. They made that two up three string, the Grave Digger string, the overhead hit on characters now. Because before, man, characters like Green Arrow would be so annoying up close. You know, they just, you couldn't do that string, and it was just hard to get around them. Yep. Now he can do that every time, create push back a little bit. <coughs> I kind of don't mind that that they took away the plus five. He's gonna be overkill. I mean, you've had this plus five string that you're able to abuse nonstop. Yep. <laughs> they gave his they gave him damage. I don't know how much damage he's gonna be able to do now, but apparently he was doing double scaling, which means yeah, yeah. he's been losing on a lot of damage. So we're gonna see how much he hurts now. So is the is the meter are the, all those meter and teleport combos gonna yeah. do more damage now? Probably, okay. I'd say I, I would say in general overall, he's probably gonna get what. Eight to ten percent damage increase, which is huge. I mean, yeah, right wow. now, is... yeah, right now his meter and teleport, the max he can get off is like twenty. After when they fix the whole uh, damage scaling things, it's probably gonna do around thirty, which is huge for getting hit by a move like a meter and teleport. Yeah, okay. I, I, I think his his other B and Bs could potentially do like thirty five, thirty six with the vortex character. Yeah, that's the vortex. That's dangerous. So I don't it's know. We'll see. Now. Yeah, what about this last thing that says, fix an issue where Scorpion's teleport punch will pass through opponents who are in a state where they cannot be repelled. I don't know what that means. Does anybody know? I'm trying mm. to think what repelled means. I'm trying to think. I don't know what that means. Yeah, is it something just like, you know, I don't know if it's something that happens a lot or, you know, I don't know. What, I, don't, I have no idea what that is. I don't know, right. maybe it would corpse hop over them and go through them or something and they fix that? I don't know, that? maybe something like that. I don't know. So um, you real you're happy with you know with the, all the stuff that you got? Yeah, I'm fine with his changes. Okay. Damage increased, the two up three fix. I mean, Scorpion's good to go now. All right. And another character that you, you know a lot about, a lot more than us, is Shazam. Talk about his changes. All right, these buffs could be pretty interesting. I need to see how much range he gets exactly on his grabs. But if his grab range is anything close to his back two range, mm -hmm. we're gonna be in business because now. <laughs> When you're outside that sweep distance, the Shazam's right there chilling. You better watch out; you don't get grabbed or hit by back too. It's gonna be, it's gonna be very. It's gonna even increase his momentum further. And the fact that he does more damage too, because right now he has like 50% combo. Well, not 50, but you know, the late 40. And with that damage increase, he's probably gonna go over 50 now, which is huge. Plus the trait combos, Sarks, anyone? 90% combos <laughs> in the corner. Yeah. Well, what about what about this though? It says. The character power now is proper damage scaling. Did you read that? Wait a minute. The last one. Yeah, his, his trait. Oh, I didn't actually, see that. His trait Wait combo. A is like proper a, damage scaling. What is this? Yeah, you know, like the Where one one two. Where are my eighty percent combos? Yeah, you know, like the one one two, one one two, one one two. Okay, I did not know about that, but <laughs> man, if if this is if this decreases his damage by more than ten percent, I'm gonna be pissed. I think. Oh, but I think hold those... up. Increased amount of block damage on hook kick. That's just a standing three. So what is standing three randomly gonna do like three percent now? I don't know. I don't know. Wait, hold it's on. Real. Maybe it's bug right now. Maybe it doesn't do the. Yeah, damage. maybe it's bug. It should do like point thirty or something. If it doesn't, it's bug. Okay, but look, but, uh, you see, he got a damage increase to his torpedo and his bolt of Zeus, his projectile. I think they should go out on all those. I think he's a grab character, so he should be able to freaking grab you far away. That's what I think. I mean, let's. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, right. man. It depends how. Yeah. If his range on his grab is anywhere close to his back too, he's gonna be very good. Yeah, we'll see about this. Depends on the. And his torpedo right now is nine percent. They increase the damage. Hmm. Yeah. Twelve or something. That's a lot of damage you're getting hit by a torpedo. That's yeah. nice. I think it's. I think it's gonna be twelve. What are his bad matchups right now? Oh, I see. I see. I see. All right. Right now, his standing three is bugged. It does when you do a three. Uh huh. It does just zero point zero seven percent. Yeah, that's 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 it's bugged. bugged. So, yeah. They're gonna change it and they're gonna make it go to. Hold on. They're gonna make it go to 0.23 percent. Whatever. Hmm. I guess it's a fair trade for having that, you know, trait nerfed. Have that three buff. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. What, what, I'm kind of worried about the trait nerf. I don't like that. Why do people think Shazam is so bad? Because when I played your Shazam, I, I I got kind of an idea that people just weren't using him. It's because I guess everyone who plays Shazam. Uh, is either in an area where they have a ton of Superman players or Green Lantern players, because in my opinion, or I guess Black Adam too, 
Shazam can fight any character that is not. These are his wor- This is his absolute worst matchups right now: Superman, Green Lantern, and Black Adam. Okay. If you're not fighting any of these three characters, Shazam is very good. He can fight. He can hold his own against any character in the game. Okay. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of feel that way. Just maybe people play Shazam to go to tournaments. They're like, ugh. Pool's full of a Superman player, Black Adam here, Green Lantern there. You know, they go like, man, this character's well, not that good. Two of those characters just got nerfed, and one of them stayed yeah, the, the same. but the thing though. is, the reason... Here's what makes... Here's what affects Shazam so hard in, in those particular matchups. He can't abuse his torpedo in them up close. You know, up close will do strings into torpedo, you know, he'll just build yeah. for safely. Green Lantern, you can't ever use torpedo. doesn't matter how you space it up close. He'll always punish yeah. back one full combo. Yeah. Superman, you can never use it ever. Just always punish 4-2. Black Adam just can't catch him, but that's different now. So Green Lantern, Superman, probably still going to be very difficult. At True, least yeah. more manageable, though. What's up with, what's up with this back 2-3 uh, now back pops up? Breeze, that string that goes like half screen, the elbow into the upward shoulder where he pops you up in there. Yeah, so it pops you right now? Because, yeah. Before... When you would do it, and you would hit, because sometimes I use it, I'd be like, okay, my opponent's probably going to jump back to start a match or whatever. The back two, oh, yeah. three will hit them, and I'm like, man, now <laughs> after that buff, better try jumping back now, bitch. Get that full <laughs> combo. It's really good. It's just, it, it's used in different areas. Okay, nice. Um, now, let's let's talk about um, Sinestro a little bit. Man, all right, he gets a buff now. I think the, this the, is the, big. This is big. People, I, I don't think, big. understand how big this is until they actually play the new improved Sinestros. But back one, two right now is a mid to high. And if you crouch, then you can blow up the second hit, full combo, punishable. But what they're doing now is making sure that both hits are mid mid and it's a minus five. And people who don't know, anything minus five or less in this move and in, in this game, you can back dash safely and you can't even be down one out of it. Yeah. So if I do back one, two, point blank, and you block it, I could just back dash, and you whiff your attack. If you do a slow recovering attack, I could punish you. So he now has what he's never had, a safe footsie tool. Yep. That's, that's, that's been the biggest complaint, um, you know, with any, you know, with me, with any Sinestro players. Um, but now he has a safe footsie tool, and you know what? I kind of don't know if he needs it. <laughs> it covers up that big hole he used to have. When you would get in that range, you'd be like, Man, if 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 uh, Sinestro tries moving here, if he tries doing a string, fireball, yeah. whatever, he's gonna get punished. Now he could do back one two, like you said, back that shout. Yep. He could do if back one two hits now, he could probably fuck. He does. He probably won't even need, need to use back one three anymore. He won't have to use the risk anymore because now he could just do back one two into shackles and then go from combos from there. Yeah, yeah. yeah back no. one back, back one two sets up the vortex just as well. Yeah. Yeah, this is you know again. It's pretty big. Uh, a change. That's especially very big for two people, and that's, you know, Uncabo and playing to win, of course. And, you know, they always refer to this dead zone where, you know, where Sinestro can't do anything in certain matchups, like the flash, you know, where you do fireball, punish, you do anything else, punish, you know. Now this gives him a safe, you know, like we said, safe mid-range tool that he can use them. Makes you know, it dangerous too, because when you're approaching, you gotta watch out for that back one too. Exactly, you gotta watch out for random, ba- you know, they, and they'll start hit confirming into the shackles. So this is really, really good. <laughs> yeah, and you, but but the mix-up doesn't end there. Like you could do back one two arachnid uh, trait meter burn. Do you guys understand something? That if you have three shots of trait now, okay, three shots of trait, and you have four bars of meter, what you can now do with Sinestro is you could do. Back one, two on block, arachnid, trait shot, arachnid, meter burn. It's guaranteed free on block. Yeah, that, that, that is... So, Pig, are you interested in using the secondary now, or are you still hell, like... Hell yeah, I'm kind of feeling the fear a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, all right. I mean, if I get trait and I get three bars a meter, you mean to okay. tell me I get 19% for free three times? Okay. I'm coming yeah. at you. Here it comes. <laughs> All right. That's, yeah, that's interesting. Okay. I Sinestro, Sinestro is already probably one of the most underrated characters in this game. Like, literally, what are his bad matchups? His bad matchups might be Frost, Aquaman, Martian Manhunter, Martian Manhunter, Scorpion. Flash, I guess. Yeah, Flash, four. And uh, Scorpion, that's five. So he's got five bad matchups. I think. Aquaman matchup just got better. Like all these matchups, even Scorpion just got better because of this uh, change. And I think he's probably going to beat Black Adam now 
Would that be a fair assessment? Yeah, think? yeah. I, I think he beats Black Island now. I mean, it, it, we, we argued four six five five before, but now we're kind of like, I don't know. It's p- probably definitely favor now. Yeah, me and Superman. Well, we will talk about Superman a little bit. So, we'll oh, see. I, 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 yeah, I, I think that is definitely five five or Sinestro favor. It's probably Sinestro favor now. Yeah, so he's got he's gonna gain a lot of good matchups. All right, let's talk about Grundy. So the pain now, chain, like, yeah, the pain chain, his character power not being able to get paired anymore. That's that had to be done because it wasn't fair. You can't parry his other throw. You can't parry his walking corpse. You can't parry his regular yeah. throw. As a Zap player, I don't like this, but you know I can see why it's you know necessary. Because you know I don't know whether Piggy. Did you know we can parry this? Yeah, yeah. I, like when I play Fly, I always do. He'll do that like the staining kick into the the yeah, yeah. throw, and I always parry it. And he, he's like, God damn it! And then like he's like, <laughs> other he's he's now back on the other side of the screen. Yeah, so, exactly. So that's that's a nice you know fix. And it's a nice. It, it's nice. I I think it's fair. What about what's this gray rob? What move was that? Oh, that that's the move where he does the cloud. Around them and then does damage over time when when. Oh you're no, it's gonna. So you, are you telling me he's gonna be able to do even more damage now? Yeah, which means because right now I know the regular cloud, the regular one does, zero point eighty percent, every second, and then the meter burn one does two percent every second. So if they increase that, maybe it's gonna do one percent every second. The regular one and then the meter burn one maybe three or two point five. Regardless, it's a huge damage increase, because if he grabs you now when he has a shit, it's really gonna be called the pain chain because he's gonna be eating a <laughs> lot of. <damage. laughs> Yeah, he so you got he should also be better because Superman is worse. Even though I still think he's probably gonna lose to Superman though. Yeah, absolutely. But Black Academy is so much easier probably, and um, yeah, just those two matches are killing him. So. Yeah. So um, you guys want to talk about Superman? Speaking of yeah. which, yeah, here comes Superman, another character that has been getting a lot of flack lately, along with Black Adam. All right. Well, I think. And, it's okay. the, I think. Yeah. Or go ahead, Rio. All right. The meter burn flying punch now has two hits of arm. Did it always have that? Did it have infinite? What was the deal? Because I've never really seen Superman players using that move. I think it had one hit of armor. Yeah, just yeah. like So he got a buff. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so he has pretty much a move, which is safe on block from what I heard. Mm-hmm. It, it is safe, right? Yeah, I think it's safe. All right, so for bar meter, he has this move to get in that's safe and has two hits of armor. That's good. He got damage increase in scaling combos, which means no more 60% corner combos. They're probably going to be doing 40 now or 50. I don't know. I heard yeah. 50. I heard. Uh, I think, you know, like in, in MK, we had Jax, you know, with forward, for, uh, forward you know, 4 1. Yeah. Well, you're right, by the way. I the just corner. tested it. It has one hit of armor right now. Okay. Okay. And, you know, that's string. And if Jax, you know, guesses right, whatever, he gets like, what, you know, 60 to 70%. That's pretty much Superman, except his his move jails everybody in the corner, and he has less, like twice the range, maybe even three times the range. So think about how ridiculous that is. So in the corner, if you make one mistake, you eat seventy percent or sixty percent, whatever, whatever the K- crazy combos are that KDZ is doing. So now that's gonna go to fifty. Forward plus two is probably gonna have slightly less range. I assume it's not gonna hit at the beginning of the round. Do you guys probably think that? That's you can have the same range and the same startup. They, it's, they, a they, slight, it's a slight hitbox adjustment. To yeah, the but cross I mean, I'm, still, I'm pretty sure it's still going to hit from point A to point B if they're on the ground. Yeah. So I, I, gonna, I think right. you're probably going to be able to neutral jump it, jump over it, or jump back it if you have a really good, like, if you have a really good jump arc. Like, I think Zod will probably be able to jump back from it or probably jump over it. I think some characters that have shitty. Jump backs will still get hit by it. I think it's going to be character dependent, probably. Okay. So wait, wasn't the reason you couldn't <clears throat> jump back was because the second part hit you? Mm-hmm. No, yeah. Well, well they, it, they didn't adjust okay. that. They only adjust the first part, which means the second three still has the same hitbox. I <coughs> heard that the four two is going to have like a worse. Yeah, but the thing is, look, if you jump back, the three will catch you on your way down. True, true. So if you don't have a good cool. air jumping attack that comes downward, you're still going to get. You're still not going to be able to jump out of it. I, I'm not going to argue with me. You're going to have to jump these, forward or jump up. Are, these nerves are completely appropriate. Like everything on here, there's nothing really to argue about. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I don't see. I, I still think, think he's a high tier character. He doesn't. Yeah, like, he took I think. That so much too, I think. So the ground and air version attacks now have additional recovery frames. I heard it's like three or frames or something like that. So it's still good. You know. It's not noticeable, pretty much. Yeah, it's not really noticeable. So. Super went from two frames to five frames. Not really big of a deal because okay, it losing its overhead 
um, hit level doesn't matter because when doesn't the animation matter. went up, people held back anyway. Yeah, so. But okay, it going from two to five frames, big deal. You still have the fastest super in the game. Yeah, and the only other that. supers that, that that come close are flashes and hot girls, which are both seven frames. So you still have the fastest super in the game. Yeah, so you still. No, these... sorry, you. I saw, I'm sorry, you can't punish down ones on block anymore with a super. What What's the word on uh, for the super? Are they panicking or what are they saying? <sighs> well, a lot of them... people like Theo and KDZ. I mean, I haven't seen what KDZ or Theo said specifically, but on Twitter, a lot of Superman players have been seeing, have been saying that the character's ruined now and he's not that good. Really? Really? I just feel like they overreact. Really? What are you is that, is, that, is, that, is that what KDZ said? Yeah, no, it's not what KDZ said. I just I saw some other Superman players. But just huh. reading what they were saying and then just in my head imagining what, what I went through with Scorpion was just like, dude, I'm about to throw out. Shut <laughs> up. That's funny. Nowhere even close. Yeah, it's, it's, it is nowhere close. Same thing with Black Adam. Black Adam players make me sick. I we can disagree about Black Adam, but a Superman, there's nothing on here that I see that's debatable. In fact, after looking at this, I think he's gonna it's still gonna blow up Granny pretty bad because <laughs> nothing Probably. changed. So you're still no gonna have to not move when you're in that distance when he's 14. Yeah, range. the only thing is he's gonna do slightly. He's gonna do less damage in the corner. You know, you can jump probably, out of his four, two, three. Yeah, no. Yeah, you can jump out of them, but everything else is zoning a little bit worse. But like this, this is appropriate. This is appropriate. I don't know, man. I still think Black Adam is good. It's just he has uh, we'll see. some, some we'll harder see. matches now. We'll see about Black Adam. But for now, let's talk about Wonder Woman. The fairest character in the game. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, her sword stance, <laughs> a.k.a. Her, in, in her sword stance, her 4-3 uh, bounce attack no longer can be clashed, which is justified. It should have always been like that. Yep. I'm surprised she wasn't touched any other way, though. Specifically, those off uh, off the ground corner combos in the corner. So that that's all still in, right? I mean, her she's a fair character, though. <laughs> her she's hey, very fair. What hey, is I wanna, Junior? What is hey, Junior say? Hey, hey, let, let me go back real quick. Go back, see Junior. One second. Uh, I want to say the Emperor Theo did text me earlier, yeah. and he he said that Superman will always be. Um, if these are if these are the nerfs that he gets, that he will always be top three, and I will continue to use him. Okay, so there we go. That's that's. Incredible. I agree with him. Yeah, I also agree. But I feel like some characters have surpassed him now, as far as overall being. Complete. Yeah, Emperor Theo is a really smart, level-headed player. Everything he has ever texted me, or or said, is just very calm and level-headed. He's really, I like that guy. Well, I think he's probably right after looking at the nerfs too. So. Yeah. Well, speaking about the mo the, about the first character in the game, uh, Wonder Woman, I'm surprised that they kept the uh, off the ground combos. Now, what C. Junior thinks? Uh, that she's still not good enough or something? I don't know. But but uh, Fox. I mean, some of her harder matches did get a little bit better, like Aquaman and Batman. Yeah. And yeah, especially well. Batman. Uh, but Foxy thinks she's all. She he thinks she's top three. I mean, After. I don't know. She does have a couple hard matches. Here's the thing. Other characters that are top three or could be debated for being the best top three or whatever, they don't really have that many losing matchups like Wonder Woman. I mean, she's top ten for sure. Uh, I mean, she's but, retarded yeah. as a character on her own in tool set, but she just has some matches where she struggles in. Yeah, that's that's true. Well, if with her, I, think she's still, I still think she's unexplored, so we'll have to kind of see what happens. Well, I, I think Wonder Woman is a really, really good character, and he needs a, cu a couple of different players to play her. I mean, I wish Foxy was over here. Foxy is really good with her, but, you know, Foxy's never going to come back over here. Let's be serious. Um, so, I don't know. I, I, th I think Wonder Woman's really good. She's very solid. She doesn't really have any good weak. She doesn't have any, like, glaring weaknesses, in my opinion. Her only weakness I'd say is she has no full screen presence. Exactly, okay. and I've been saying that forever. Like she, it's not really about having a. It's just about like building meter, you know, like full screen away. She can. She can wait, do parries. True, but you know, if she had like a projectile that kind of you know. Kept Dude, she had a full screen projectile. You serious? I know, but I'm just saying that 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 is what she. You know, if she were to. She's gonna do throw her lasso that homes in on you, and then comes back. She needs slow shots, dude. She's she's. Shut uh, up. <laughs> in your damn. Why is what? Why is what? Why are you talking about Wonder Woman having a gun? Yeah, what are you talking? They they don't they're uh, uh, dude they're Amazons. They don't use weapons like that. Those are weapons for men. Dude, she's not. Good she's, she's not. The, she's not large. She's not Lara Croft. One. She's not yeah, Lara seriously. Croft. Amazon woman. She's not good enough going to CD Junior. What kind of boss do you, 
Do you guys think she needs? Well, hold up. It's not our fault. Juno ends up playing characters like Flash Wonder Woman, who just are fair and not that good. But anyway. <laughs> okay. Bonat is a Tana who got a plethora of changes over here. Yeah, talk about that. I think that character is going to be dumb. Man, I mean, I feel like Zatanna is really good right now. I, just, I don't get why everyone's saying this character is so bad. Can I just can I just encourage, can I just throw the DAG challenge out there? If anyone yeah, listening to cool. this podcast can play DEG222, just add him on Xbox, DEG222. Beat his Zatanna in a first to five or first to ten and, and tell me. I also fully and, support this and back you up because he's very good with her. He's that actually the one who opened so my good eyes to how good Zatanna is. Yeah, I thought she was complete shit, and he picked her on me. Like he was, we were having like really good games. Harley, and he picks a tan. I'm like, man, what is this bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> bodies me the next three or four games. I was, I had no idea what he was doing. Absolutely. Like he can, like he'll do the thing where he'll shoot projectiles full screen away, and if you try to jump over a projectile and he, and he uh, hits the up button to make the projectile go upwards, he'll hit confirm into the meter burn like trance thing, teleport, and get like a forty percent combo into a reset. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Oh wow! He's you can't, you, you can't. Dude, you can't move against her. Like it's very much a risk, and you get forty percent like crazy reset. too. It's yeah. full screen. It's like frost, but full screen in a weird way. Yeah, I think you know, she's she got all pretty much positive fixes and changes. But one thing where she's gonna get hurt is the Aqua Bat matchup, because that still hasn't changed, and it's so bad like, in my opinion. I don't like. What do you guys think? Did you ever What's see that? Well, that's because Aquaman hasn't changed. Not really. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know whether you guys saw that match, but it, it just seems horrible. Yeah, it is a bad match. And it's, she, she can't really can't, combo like, him. She yeah, can't really she get can't, anything going. But then again, that's trade. not really a problem with her. It's more of Aquaman. I know. She can't do trade against him either, right? Because he'll just try it. And then he'll, you know, yeah. then your trade stops. I mean, she could go into trade and go into, like, setups, but it's easier for him to get her out of it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I mean, they, they made her teleports easier to do now. So and I know a lot of people are complaining. Well, it's so awkward doing this and that. So they made it easier. Hmm. She can't do it. She lost her Levitate Infinite, which is a given. Her Meter Burn Fire Kiss can't be ducked by random characters like Aquaman and Ares. And, you know, characters that just duck. Yeah, the Flash. So that was more of a fix, too. Yep. Characters like Catwoman and Wonder Woman can't parry her trait uh, low projectile, which should have never been happening anyway. So that's mm -hmm. another fix. They made they buffed her uppercut attack. They made it eight frames down instead of ten. So I mean, it doesn't have the best hitbox in the world, but it's better than nothing. A frame launcher. Uh. And she also had. They also made her jumping one faster, six frames down instead of being eight. So I mean, like I said, it's nothing big, but it's just little touches. And of course, her puppet master now works online. Should have been like that. That's dumb. <laughs> How did yeah. that move not work online? All right, it's like. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> they, yeah. they increased uh, the hitbox on the second hitter multi kick. The meter burn one will randomly whiff sometimes and characters can poke you out of it, and that yeah. no longer happens, so it's another fix. Yep. And, yeah. and they remove their infinite on characters. So a lot of these yeah. are fixes and slight buffs. So. I mean, overall, everything got better for Zatanna. Mm, yeah, I, I agree. So let's talk about the man himself. Yes. Yes, baby. Needle, uh, sound, needle right <laughs> So I, I, I'm just going to say it right now. I better not play a match and have the trait glitch out ever again. <laughs> what if you go to a tournament and you're like about to win and right, something randomly happens? Yeah, just like, like, <laughs> like, like I, dropped, I dropped like a trait combo and then the glitch freaks out again. And just what like if came, came back. Saw turns into the trait and you care to just switch positions and you're just like, what the fuck is going on here? And the person's just beating you up. <laughs> and so like just, some weird random glitch. So yeah. here we go, like. The fan, you know, the the slashes from the monster can no longer be parried, you know. So you know that happened a lot with um, Killer Frost. You know, she could even freeze you. So all that, all that nonsense is gone. We have no. This is what concerns me, you know. Obviously, as a Zod player, is that the Phantom Wraith, with this, which is the 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 bite, mm -hmm. has proper damage scaling. Now I wonder what that refers to and how much damage scaling are they talking about? Well, okay. I mean, I can get forty-eight percent. Like 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 right now, I can I think if you do like a low laser combo into a slash slash grab, yeah, you know you know you you can get like forty eight percent somewhere around there. So if if that tra if you know if that scales down to like forty or forty two something like that, I'm okay with that because okay. 
But 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 if but if off, just off a straight grab into a back three combo, I better still get minimum thirty seven. Minimum. I okay. think I, I require thirty seven. I think right now right now if I do like a back three off a uh, command, command grab, uh, I think I get like forty four. So I'm just saying, uh, I hope I still get something somewhere around 38, 37, 40. That'd be nice. Um, I don't know. I, I also, I'm also imagining that the uh, command grab into the charge laser regular combo, like that, that'll scale. And like, there's some other combos that I do, like full screen away. You can do something like, uh, oh god, what is it? It's like, uh, yeah, the meter burn laser, the slash, the grab, you dash, and then charge reg- regular laser. So you did two regular charge lasers in the combo. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like, I, I bet that. Wait, yeah, a little it, bit more. What, what about this kind of thing? The, um, the bite into the fully charged la- laser will scale. You know, like you do. You know. Yeah. Uh, I, I, yeah, I think I think if you do two charged lasers in a combo, I. No, I'm just talking about one. Probably, so you know, you bite, you do a mm-hmm. fully charged laser, you do back three, jumping three, mm-hmm. forward, you know, two one, uh, forward two, one three into uh, meter burn palm. Do you think that will scale? It'll probably be different than what it was. It'll probably be like four or five percent less. Okay. Well, I'm hoping it's no more than four or five percent. Yeah, I'm hoping so either. We'll see. That's the only like change that bothers me a little bit. I think everything else is pretty much, you know, they fixed the uh, all the you know silly glitches. Mm-hmm. The Zar charger. This I don't know. Like now has six starter frames up from one. Was it ever one frame? I, I it might, in my it, opinion, it, it, it was might, not. It might have been one frame. You have to it's test actually, it. We need something to test it on. But I tried punching well, some stuff and it never worked. Well, you gotta factor in the jumping frames too. It takes like three or four frames for. But you will be able to punish. Attack. Okay, but you will still be able to punish it. Who, Pretty what? much everything. Okay, I had a very very difficult time to even punish something like, uh, Martian Manhunters minus, which is minus A, right? It's well, minus here's the thing. Um, uh, Martian Manhunters tell you mean the downward teleport? Yeah. Here's yeah. the thing. Lex can't even punish it because the distance it creates before you can move means you got to factor in travel distance, which means by the time you activate the six frame attack, by the time you get to Marshman's location, it's going to be at like, you know, eight frames, nine, ten, whatever, and you just can't punish it. You got to factor in with Zod too, but on top of that, you got to factor <coughs> in the jumping frames too. Okay. It takes what, three, four frames, so you factor that in. If you do a just frame Zod charge, it means the fastest you're going to be able to do it off the ground is five frames. Then you got to factor in the distance it takes you to get to Marshman's location. It falls in the same boat as Lex is, as Lex trying to punish him. Oh, I, I see what you're saying. So but still, man, one frame though. You would need something. Uh, that's what I'm trying. I'm trying to think a move that, if there was something in the game that was like minus seven that leaves you point blank without ducking, mm-hmm. you could probably test that and see how how it would work. I, I don't know. It's it's difficult to test. But like, I, I would still take it even at six frames. I mean, six frames it would still be good. So I mean, like for what I use it for, I don't really think it's going to change anything. I, I mean, you could probably like, make yeah. something, if I have to say anything, and make Deathstroke's uh, low gun shots harder to punish. Okay. Yeah. Well, actually, we'll yeah. make a lot of things harder to punish, like low shots. Aquaman's trident, like you're going to be on point. Uh, yeah. Uh, Raven's um, squeeze, yeah. stuff like that at mid-range. Well, okay, well, if you're at mid-range and you're on the ground, you can punish Aquaman's trident rush just from the ground. True, but it would be, you know, like, with... See, aerial Zod charge, you can punch it, you know, even further away. You can almost punch it in max range because that's yeah. how fast it is. Okay, but, okay. But, uh, you know, then we also have the improved, you know, like hitbox from the second hit of, I think that's what they're really referring to, second hit of forward, you know, 2 1. Yeah, 4 right? 2. Four, like, if you take the Zod mirror, for example, the 2 will whiff on Yeah, Zod. every time, yeah, every time. So, yeah. So that's going to be, I, I can't complain. This is all reasonable. I think he's going to be very good. He's going to be top 10 for sure. Uh, top ten, yes. Down play. <laughs> what? I'd say he could be top five. He I could. Z- yes. Z- 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 Come on, the patch is past, Dave. Stop. Here's what I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear anybody cry about backdash, about Zod and Directables. You can't cry about. Well, this. actually, they will be crying about his backdash. You want to know why? Because now his backdash <laughs> is a thing that is left in his game that is the closest thing to Black Adam's pre-nerfed back. True. That is true. So, That's true. People yeah. cried about the back. I mean, dash, you're gonna have snakes. to be playing against Zod. You're gonna be like. Wow, what the fuck? This dude's what? bat. Where have I seen this before? <laughs> backdash, backdash, backdash. <laughs> Stupid Zod. He just can't. He builds trait and comes in. And you know, same shit. Yeah, true. Sure. People will. People back sooner or later. Yeah, they're going to see it. 
His value yeah. test might be the best in the game right now. Right now, probably. Yeah, I'd say it, it is the best. It, is. Yeah. It's a, it was the best thing after Black, Black Adam. It's the closest thing to Black Adam. Yeah, so people will definitely, you know, whine about that, but it is what it is. I think he's top 10 for sure and a top possible five. top five candidate. So he will right. have some. What, what is your top? Do you guys want to do our top fives? Yeah, yeah. At the, at the end of this, definitely. Okay, well, we pretty much covered everybody. Talked a lot about Black Adam. Talked all everybody's all, all everybody's changes. Okay. We should go more into detail on Black Adam. See how like, I don't know. Pig and I, I feel wanna, like it's I not a big no deal. No look. Okay. Pig and I feel like it's not that big of a deal on the changes he got. I mean yeah, they're big enough to now he has to f handle certain problems and to have these other issues that come up. But I feel like he's still a good character at, at the end of everything. I don't want to like. He's like, not a freaking. I'm you know, ready to admit I'm wrong, but I can't do it right now until I see more evidence. Like if. If, you know, if the, when the patch comes out and I see, you know what, this character is the same. Oh, okay, you know, I I exaggerate. The character is still good. I mean, look, it's fine, but we can't really say it right now until the game comes out. So. That's true, but look, but just looking at it and just thinking a little, like right now, I'm looking at his his backdash nerf, right? He they didn't say that they've uh, removed some of the invincibility frame on, so it's still gonna have 11 frames of invincibility, which is the best for any backdash can have. They said that we can't comment on the range reduction. I don't know about that yet, but. They added five frames of recovery. That's not that much of a big deal. Five frames to his backdash. It's it was probably it had the least recovery out of anyone. So you got to factor that in too. A lot of characters are still gonna have slower backdashes than him. I think there's a lot of ambiguous information man, that you can't talk about. Like I know. I mean, yeah. if, like his damage, like how much against like with Zod, you know, like that's oh, true. That's some of the other characters. Like how well, much? Feel, like right scale? now, people reacting. Know. Like they're acting like he's gonna have scorpion damage. His backdash gonna be like Lobos, like. Just, it's too many people. Dude, he out. did get a lot of changes, though, man. You have to admit that. That's true, but man, when this character still ends up being kind of good and still gives some characters problems, I'll be the first one to be like. Well, let's good. talk about top five so we can see where everybody stands. Well, what do you? Uh, all right, well, let me ask this real quick. What What do you guys think of KDZ, Rico Suave, and all those guys if they drop the game? Or better yet, KDZ never plays Superman ever again and goes to like Aquaman. I don't see why KDZ would do that. Superman's still good. Yeah, but what if he does? Like, what will we? What, what, <sighs> then I hope KDZ never runs into Emperor Theo because that would be a funny match to see. Oh my! Just God. for the end result. Oh my! That's perfect. That would be the destiny match. You know that? You know that reminds me of like Detroit Ball and Wound Cowboy. Yeah. <laughs> sort of. Dude, you know? that was yeah. That, that was not, that was a really good match. Yeah. Man, but but, but De Detroit drops Shang Tsung, you know. He dropped him because he wasn't good enough to win. <laughs> he wasn't good enough to beat Cabal. <laughs> well, I, you know, like I don't know, I don't know, I don't wanna. I can't really say because you know, like a lot of these things are ambiguous and you can't really know. And they actually yeah. maybe more changes. Sometimes they do more changes. They don't put them up. So it just depends. We don't have to wait. That's true. Maybe when Marsh when the patch comes out, I go to look at Marsh Manor and it's. His hitbox on this telepush is completely removed. I'm like, what the f Like, wasn't listening on the patch note. Who knows? We can't really say anything until the patch comes out. Yeah, so I think the most interesting thing we can do right now is just give it a top five just to see how wrong or how right we are. You know, just like we can blow each other up for saying, you look at this moron. He had, you know, look at this fool. He had him yeah. top five. And then you can say, you know uh, what? Look, he knew he was going to be top five. So let's just talk about it. Who wants to start? Right. Do you, I'll, I'll go ahead first. Okay. I'll go last. Okay. All right. Uh, does it matter if we go in order or not? Uh, no, just no. Oh, just, okay, I'll just I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try to put it in order. Okay, all right. I'll say mine in order too. These are the characters I think that will end up being the best from best to worst, and I'm I'm only gonna give top five for now. Number one, Martian Manhunter. Number two, Aquaman. Number three, Superman. Number four, Zod. Number five, Killer Frost. Well, that's that's a pretty good top five, I think. That's a really good top five. All right, yeah, wait, 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 run that back one more time. All right. <coughs> Number one, I have Martian Manhunter. Number mm -hmm. two, I have Aquaman. Mm -hmm. Number three, I have Superman. Number four, I have Zod. Number mm -hmm. five, Killer Frost. Okay. I was about to say that, that sounds like my. All right, all right, go Dave. I got I got a little change in. Uh, go Dave. Yeah, well, let me say. I think the best card in the game is going to be Aquaman. Then. Mm -hmm. Marshall Manhunter, and then he gets really, really tight for me. I'm not really sure. Mm -hmm. I would say so. Aquaman first, second is Marshall Manhunter. Then I would put, um, 
You know what? Let me just go with Zod, man. I've got to keep it real. Let me go with Zod. Top three, three. Right. Yes. Then I would say... Um, I would still say Batman mm -hmm. and Batgirl. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with Aquaman number one, Marshman Hunter number two, Zod number three, oh, man, uh, Kill of Frost number four. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, now I really want to think about, all right. Uh, I don't want to do that. Can you guys uh, can you guys tell me why Sinestro wouldn't be top five? I think he still has too many red matches. Yeah, though. I'd say he'd probably still lose to Martian Manor, still lose to Killer Frost. That's true. That's true. And all these people do. Well, well, yeah. One one thing. Okay, I'll go with Bad Girl. Bad Girl number five. So you have Aquaman, Marshman Hunter, Zod, Killer Frost. And Batgirl. I, I, I think I like that top five. What about who do you think is going to be better, Batgirl or Killer Frost? Killer Frost. Killer Frost. Okay. Dude, yeah, I her agree with that. only biggest bad match. Her only bad match right now was Black Adam, who got hit hard. I agree True. with that. True. So what, what, do you think about, what do you think about Hog Girl and uh, Frost? I think that's five five. Okay. You better hope Hog Girl doesn't get hit once. <laughs> Chuba. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, can't fight her up close. She can't do all the rush down, rush down, down one distance because Perry, stop moving. Yeah. Yeah. At least, she, at least she can parry the, uh, the, the, the. If she could. That would be a wrap. I but know. She still meter burn it or jump. You know. Yeah. True. True. Let's say it's a five. I, I would think if anything, Killer Frost's next hard match could end up being Martian Manor. Exactly. And uh, hmm. she still has a. She probably still has, like. You know, have a difficult time against Superman. I'm thinking because. You know, she he you know because she he he'll still be able to zone her at least like it actually depends I guess on the recovery of the projectile though. Okay, well none of us put Wonder Woman in the top five and a lot yeah, of people. I was it. I was about to say, do you guys want to go ahead and go to top ten just for shits and giggles? Well, I'll, I'll, well, let's talk about why Wonder Woman isn't top five. Why do we think Wonder Woman's not top five? All right, I feel she's not top fair. five because he's fair. She, in my opinion, she struggles against Aquaman. She has trouble against Batman. Field Grand Lantern could be somewhat difficult for her. I, she has tr she yeah. has trouble against Zod. Yeah, I would say Zod too, definitely. And I would feel Martian Manor gives her fits too. So I mean, that's five matches that could end up being hard. So CD Jr. is right after all. She is fair. <laughs> I want to say she's. That's like saying Sonya's fair because she loses to Freddy, Cabal, Kent. Okay. <laughs> No, man, I'm, I'm just having a good time here. So, okay, that, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. There's gonna, like, what about Green Lantern, though? I mean, he's... I feel like he will lose to Zod. Yep. Still lose to Martian Manor. Yep. Batman will still give him fits. Batgirl Sin will still be annoying Sin for him. Sinestro. Sinestro. Yeah, he still has a lot of matches. He's like Wonder Woman. He still has those matches that are kind of difficult. Here, let me look at somebody. Let's look at... What about the Flash? Now, that's a good one. I would put Flash around that six to eight range. I would too. He would be almost right there, in my opinion. Yeah. All of his bad matchups got. I feel like Batman would give him trouble. Are you yeah, sure? Yeah, 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 yeah. But Bat Batman mm -hmm. would still give him trouble. Um, I see that matchup a lot, and it looks like Batman favor almost. It could be Batman favor. Um, I don't know. I I, I don't want. I want. I want. Martian Manor could give him trouble too. Flash. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I want to name the top ten, but I think the top, the next five will probably change. Like I, I don't know how good Lobo is going to be. I don't know how good. That's true. Yeah, you know, that, the other top, character. Oh, I'm scared. Like, like, like Green Arrow. Green Arrow. How pesty is? It? Do I have to go chase Green Arrow down now? Like, yeah, a lot of things. Is are gonna that how change. that works? We don't, we don't know how things are going to be. Sh Shazam. I, I got to see it. Um, Air, I mean, Aries. I'm really intrigued in. Um, you know, Aries could change Sinestro's matchup chart. Um, we still have Batgirl. We still have Shazam. Like we have a lot of characters that could end up being a huge problem. So with that being said, are we happy with this patch overall? I like it. Overall, yeah, yeah I think it's 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 a good patch. Um, I'm actually you know, happy with it. Yeah, I'm too. I think what they try to do is you know just make sure that the better player wins. I think, right? Would you, would we agree with that? I think they try to bring the the 
more dominant characters a little bit back to reality and buff the lowest characters up to rea- up to you know fantasy land a little bit yeah. and just kind of but you know, apparently Aquaman wasn't in that equation but uh every everyone else like if you all right if you took Aqu- Aquaman and Martian Manhunter out of this game wouldn't it, wouldn't it be pretty balanced it would be so I think you got th- those are like Martian Manhunter and Aquaman I feel like characters of, that Kishi. Yeah, I feel like characters that don't have a bad matchup shouldn't <laughs> really be in the fighting game because it's not fair. Yeah. Well, we lost. I mean, to... look, you have to look at it this way: NRS has had a track record for always creating games that have a best character mm-hmm. and a second following very close. Like, for example, MK1, you had Sonya. MK2, you had Melina. MK3 had Cabal. MK4, Tanya. Deadly Line, Scorpion. MKDC Superman, MK Serena, MKD Dairu, and then MK9 Cabal. And this game, it's feel like it's going to turn out to be either Aquaman or Marshman. Or, and then that's it. I still feel like Marshman is going to lean to be the best. He's going to have the tool for everything. Do you, what do you guys think about Raven not even being mentioned anywhere in the patch notes? <laughs> I that's think funny. I would agree with uh, the best Raven player there is, Blind Ducky. I think uh-huh. everybody's completely... I'm not sure. I, I don't think I, she I don't needed know. a buff or anything. I, like I don't know what kind of buffs they wanted. Honestly, what do they want? A better wake up? I don't even know what they wanted. I don't, I don't know. I think I think she got. I think she got buffed just because everyone else got nerfed. <laughs> yeah, true. so she's gonna be. She's another character who could easily be top ten right now. She will have her bad matches, but I think she could easily be top ten. So that's my opinion. I feel like next patch, it's gonna take a while before <laughs> we can create an action for this. It's going to take months and months of grinding, probably possibly over a year, before we can create accurate matchup charts. Yeah, I think this patch was as big as one of the MK ones, where they kind of changed the jumping punches. Mm-hmm. You know, they took away all of the influence. I think that's the kind of... Because right now, aside from a few characters sticking out, like Sore Thumbs, <clears throat> Martian Man and Aquaman, we know who they are. A lot of characters are close to the... around the same uh, level. Yeah. Like, there's a big, you know, like... Like top tier, in my opinion. Like it's big aside from the, you know a couple of characters that we keep talking about. It's a, it's a big top tier. And it'll take a time to determine you know where exactly where everybody stands. Do we even want to try to say who might be one of the worst characters in the game? Um, we could take a shot at it. <sighs> Let's see. Deathstroke. No, I'm just kidding. Shut up. <laughs> I'm kidding. Shut up. Relax. So here we go. You almost got replaced by Wound Cowboy, not because that. <laughs> <laughs> Man, so, this is hard. Looking at all the characters, shit, man. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually asking this question. I know I, I, talk, say, I, talk, I, I talk, a lot of shit. There had to be a worse. Yeah. I guess it go to probably Joker. Someone had to take the spot. It had to be Joker. Even he though has got some good traps though, with the unblockable ones in the corner and with the. He does. Balls. Does he have matches he actually wins? Yeah. Like even Scorpion has matches he wins. It's hard. Like I feel like Joker, I like I just feel like Joker has a hard time. Yeah, I think he should probably. They should have probably like with the trade. They should have just gone all out, like make him movement so much. You know, make him like move like the Flash or something. No, they should have made it so if you hold the trade button with Joker, he does a Johnny Cage pair animation, just stays there, and, if, and then he could dash cancel it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's like no man, he'd be. I mean, it's whatever. I, I don't feel like his trait needs more. But I feel like he just needs kind of a movement buff. That's what I mean, though. Like, if you act, that's when you get all the traits and you get all the ha-has, dude, you should move, like, crazy. You should jump, like, I don't know, like, you're on a trampoline or something. I don't know, like, just something, you know, that, that's what he's missing. Just something, like, you know, like, you know what? Wow, this is ridiculous. I mean, back that, that's three kind of fill that, that hole, that he can't advance forward with something safe. That kind of fixes that. True, true. Yeah. I mean, you could be all wrong. I mean, who knows? He could be, like, you know, high mid here. I mean, he's not that never... bad, though. He can compete. I think I think everyone in this game can now compete. Just kind of looking at lists, I'm like, I, I can't. Okay, well, Joker. I mean, I, I would say Joker has the hardest time competing, but everyone else, I feel really good about their chances of competing. There may be a few A twos left. Mm, probably the hardest ones we're gonna see are seven threes. Yeah, a lot of them mm-hmm. probably do with Aquaman, but you know, I'm, we'll. Uh... I hope not. I hope Nightwing evolves. I want to see some Nightwing. <coughs> Yeah, me too. I want to definitely see some Nightwing. And I also want to see him. Uh, I don't know, man. Honestly, I think they did a very good job with this pad. I'm just looking at all the characters, and they all seem like they can make some noise. Yep. yep. So, um, upcoming tournaments, there's one 
with a pot bonus in October in Tennessee, and then there's NEC in December. Uh, patch comes out on October 1st. Uh, there really isn't any significant time. So NEC is going to be a really huge clash for this patch. Yes. Um, are you two going? And if so, which characters are you using? Who do you think I'm using? <laughs> it's obvious who I'm playing. Look at the <laughs> Avatar, man. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Obviously, I'm, obviously I'm picking Rambo. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, man. I was going to use whoever uh, Joker and Shazam at NEC, but... I mean, I honestly, I, my instincts were there getting in their Martian Manor. I might as well just play my other favorite characters, but I don't know. It didn't happen, so I can't pass this up. No way. Well, I'm, I, really happy. I'm really happy that you're, you're back with them. I mean, I well, suck with Martian Manor right now because I haven't played him in a month, but I'm going to get back in shape with him before NEC. Okay, yeah. It's, it's, well, I'll, I'll say this. I'm definitely going to be using Zod, and I'm probably going to have a surprise for NEC. Um, not like a surprise. I mean, I like... I got, I got, I don't even know who it is. I got to figure it out. But I, I'm, I'm very willing. That, you know, this would be like the time to pick up a character. You know, if I were to pick up another character, because nothing's happening for like three months. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So like right be- now, I have a secret side character that I plan on having as my secondary, mm-hmm. just to until I get the patch and see if, if there are any more stealth buffs or Martian Manor. You know. So I don't want to completely drop my character before then, but. Yep. You got to make sure sometimes. Yeah, man, I think, you know, I agree. I mean, I want to use Zop, but then again, well, like, what if I like Ares all of a sudden or something? You know, like, it's... Yeah, I, I'm, I, I'm very interested in Ares. I'm very interested. So it's like, what if I like Ares, and all of a sudden, like, Ares' teleport buff is ridiculous. I'm like, wow, I really like this character. Like, you know, kind of like, you know, what's like, what if that new teleport was like an up ball or something, you know? <laughs> like, like, we're like, well, this is ridiculous. I really like this You know, like, you never know. But for right now, I want to use uh, Zod. He's my main character. And I, I'm... I like, you know, and I'm going to mess around with Deathstroke, and obviously I want Aquaman as a secondary, so those are my plans. Good for you. <laughs> so there we go. That's and I don't, and here we go, guys. I already see a thread by Eddie Wang demanding uh-huh. a podcast. Yeah. So you know what we got to do. Well, well, let's do one other question. Rio, do you want to kind of describe all the Twitter drama that happened today, some of the events? Oh, man, I mean, where do you start? So much drama. <laughs> the whole Twitter feed was blocked. I couldn't even keep up. It was too much. Who who all's fighting with each other? Who all's arguing and bitching? It was literally everyone versus everyone about patch and else, this and that. But mm-hmm. yo, what you mean this character's nerve, this and that, blah, blah. I'm going to quit the game. I don't still know what they're doing. This patch is the best in the world. It's just all these mixed opinions and things being thrown left and right. <clears throat> but it's good for the game, though. You know, you people will say you know, they're quitting. It's like they're... having... Lunch in prison, but something goes crazy, and then people just start throwing food everywhere, and it's a huge breakout. That's what Twitter felt like for me today. Who's been the biggest crybaby? <sighs> so much. I mean, if I had to choose one, yeah, probably Rico. He's saying he's gonna quit the game. What about I know, Junior? but he did. To be fair, though, he didn't say anything else. Junior was this. crying a lot about Flash being nerfed. I think, it's pretty, I think it's pretty awesome that then he tweeted later. It's like me and Rico are going to the gym. It's like they're best friends now. You know, right? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. If you quit, bro, you ain't even that good. Yeah, we're going to the gym later, right? Yeah. <laughs> they, hate, they, they, they hate each other a second ago. So I don't know. I think Rico's trolling everyone. He's not going to quit. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to do Aquaman. He's been, he's been playing Aquaman for a while now. I know he's going to use Aquaman. Yeah, if you're a top player at the game and you know what it takes to be good at the game, you're not going to quit because the character got nerfed. Yep. So you just you think he's just gonna use Aquaman and just drop like Adam? Probably. Oh dude, yeah. Dude, Most I, likely. I just had the weirdest series of events. Uh, I'm playing a Flash player online right now, and he went into he went into trait mode, and the first time he did, he just walked up to me and did a throw. <laughs> and, and then and then the second round he got another trait and he did he just did super instantly. What? Wow. That's. What's going on? This is why people think this Flash is what you get for playing online. <laughs> if, Flash, if Flash players are doing this shit, this is why they think they suck. Trey yeah. makes up five percent. <laughs> anyway, man, I feel like Black Adam's like Black Adam is not he's not top five anymore. I feel no. like he's still good. Like he's probably going to be used as more of a counter pick for certain characters. Yeah, I, I think so too. I think like a guy. I think they went way too far with the nerves. It's it's ridiculous. You think he should have stayed top three? I think if you're gonna, here's what I like. I think this is what you should do. If a character's top tier in the beginning of the game, 
look look at the Killer Frost, for example. This is the character they nerfed correctly. What they did is they reduced her BS mm -hmm. by making her do less damage. Because she used to like, what, 45 or something like that? For, it, it was just yeah. insanity. It was mm -hmm. insanity. Yeah. So what they did, okay, she does like, what, 30, like 31, 30, I don't know what she does. But it's a lot more manageable. She just has to hit you more times. But her game, her game, her core game is still 100% intact. Pretty much nothing was changed significantly aside from the from the, the trade cancels. Let's talk about Scorpion because, you know, I had fun once with a top tier character. Okay. And I don't have the fun anymore. Well, that might Why is it okay for Scorpion to be dropped off top tier, but then as soon as another character gets, oh, everyone cries about it? Shut up. Well, I think even with Scorpion, I said I disagree with the nerves. Why can't Scorpion be top tier? Because he's not a DC character, he's in the game, deal with it. Well, true, but I mean, people will, you know, like people will. Just no one outraged. ever in this game skyrocketed from top tier to low like Scorpion did. Wrong. Really? Who? Deathstroke. Dude, shut up. Deathstroke was never shut bottom up. tier. He was he was bottom fifteen in my opinion. In the, in this bottom word. fifteen. Yes, dude. The patch notes are not correct. Here's what here's what happened. The low gunshots got nerfed by two frames uh, of startup. So that's First of all, Deathstroke was never top five like you claim. Stop making that rumor up. He, dude, even I'm saying, of course he was tough. Are you serious? He was top five back then. Okay, he was top seven or top six, whatever the hell he was. He was top ten. And so here we then go. he went from top ten to outside top ten. He's always so he bottom got, fifteen. So, so he's got two. He got two more frames of startup on low gasha. He got like ten frames almost, I think, of recovery. So what? Scorpion got a huge damage reduction. Twice as much chip. He got his jumping less. three totally revamped and redesigned. His teleport, his meter burn teleport went from being uh, safe to full combo punishable for some characters. Are you serious? Well, I agree. I agree. They went all out. I agree. I so agree. you're going to compare Deathstroke to Scorpion? I think they're, they're in the they're same no, tier right no, no, they're not. Well, we can, like, you know, we can argue about that. All I'm saying is... Your character I think hurts. My character hurts? Are you serious? He does like 30% damage of a combo. What are you talking and about? And Scorpion is uh, 19. You do almost twice as much as I do. Well, it depends what you hit. If you hit like a, if you hit nineteen, if you hit a meter and teleport. But if you hit like a juggle, you get more than that. You know that. I'm just saying, how could you sit there and be like, yeah, I played bottom tier, I played Deathstroke. You, you're a joke. I don't play. I don't. Dude, you're the one mentioning a Deathstroke. I don't even care because about. Because you're like, well, we should feel bad for these Black Adam players and pray that the character gets buffed back to top tier. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here and I have to deal with months Scorpion being shit and you being like, ha ha, bro, find a new character. <laughs> well, first of all, Scorpion they should have never been in the biased. game. Like this. You just if care you about the, whatever characters your friends are using. What? What? Rico is not my friend. I, I, I never talked to him. I don't even. Whatever. I, whoever you talk to, wherever you got this black Adam just man crush. Nobody's black Adam in my community anymore, dude. Like local. So dude, I don't understand. From Master D. I just find it so weird. But black I just Adam, told you Master D doesn't use. Black I just Adam find anymore. it so weird that Black Adam gets nerfed and all of a sudden it offends you, but other characters get nerfed and you just don't care. Why? Yeah, this is like this character. Dude, why just, Black Adam of all characters do you have this soft touch for? I'm, I'm just, just trying to look like at it from a non-biased point of view. You're biased. I just don't like to see characters get destroyed. Then where were you when Scorpion was nerfed? Where I was said he threats? was over nerfed. Didn't I say that? <laughs> I didn't see. I didn't see threads saying Scorpion now ruined went too far. You didn't say anything like that. First of all, if you ask the community, everybody would say Scorpion should have never been in, in this game in the first place. But who ninety percent in? Too thing. bad. Well, and Killer Frost should never been in the game too. Who the fuck is Killer Frost? Darkseid should have been in instead of her. What is your? Well, I, I agree. I agree with that. But she's still a DC character, <laughs> so that's fine with me. So random Killer Frost should be better than characters like than iconic characters like Wonder Woman, because just because. Well, you're not consistent with your logic. Well, if I, I'm placement just... was on who's the most popular character, and Superman should have stayed how good he was. Batman should have been number two. No, what I want is a balanced game. Is what I want. That's what. That's all I'm asking. You're not consistent. And I want. I make big deals about Black Adam, how he should go back, but then Scorpion happened. No, I never said. I never said. Like I think Black Adam did deserve nerfs. I'm just saying that. I'm kind of that pisses me off. Well, all I'm saying is, if you ask the community, should, should Scorpion been in this game? People will say what you should have not to be. do with the character being in the game right now and sh and being good. Because we want a DC game. The, that's what the community wants. What do you think? And should Freddy have been an MK? Should he have been good? No, but he was in there. Deal with it. 
Not, and Arrest likes to add guest a, characters. So what? It already happened. That's a good point, but at least Freddy was something original that we've never seen before. Scorpion, we just saw in MK, MK9. What's the point of having him it in the game? It doesn't matter, but he was garbage in the game. He should have been in this game and finally been a good character. Really? No, he should not have never been in this game. Dude, your logic's so bad. You're like, but he shouldn't... But here's the thing. He's in the game, okay? We can't argue about, but he shouldn't be in the game. We should talk about he's in well, the game. You get, he should get, be top tier, but you're saying no because he's not... Stop, you're, no. He's, he's, isn't he getting the buffs, some of the buffs that you want? But it's not going to make him top tier. Well, then go make a thread about it if you want it to be top tier. No, because I'm not going to cry about it. I just accept it is what it is, and that's that. Well, if... I'm not going to threaten to quit the game and leave and... Well, I'm not, I'm not threatening that. That's, that those are like, like Adam players are doing that, not me. I'm just saying. I just find it really immature and stupid. Well, like I said, I think even if like Adam is about a high mid-tier or mid-tier, it won't ruin my day. I'm just saying... He should not. He got the most nerves out of anybody in this. He didn't, he didn't get more. He didn't get no. He did, dude. Overall, he did not get nerfed more than Scorpion. That's probably true. Scorpion dropped like a brick. True. That's probably Through true. Glass. I think if you're crying about Scorpion nerfs, that just means I don't cry about a, it. I just I hold it in on you. But when I if see you need a character, such a if you need such a stupid character to win, then I think you. Dude, shut up! I don't care. I'll play whatever character. What is that a big deal? Hey, People play Aquaman. Who cares? What are you gonna say that they're not good players because they play top tier? No, I think Scorpion was the epitome of ease of use ever seen in any fighting. And when is a character being easy to use a bad thing? What is, is that a bad character? thing? It just makes the game look really, really bad when somebody's just jumping three and teleporting all day. I hear you. When uh, Aquaman's jumping two people, they can't answer here and spamming <laughs> round try. And nobody has ever complained game. about Mark Aquaman making the game look bad. Who has complained about that? Because Aquaman can't get top eight anymore. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Aqu- <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if like debating this because it's been done before. All I'm just saying. Say I think people rather see Scorpion jump around, teleport everywhere, and engage in action instead of seeing a character back dash and run away all day, pop tray and walk forward. Well, you know. There, you could you can make a case for that. I'm just saying, hold your tears next time, because I really don't care. I don't care. You know, I always speak my mind. I don't really care what, what people say. I just speak my I mind. Know, but I'm just saying, when I'm around you and you're speaking your mind about Black Adam, I will be there throwing Scorpion in your face all the time. So. Well, I'm just going <laughs> to let you know that people don't care about Scorpion. So I am hope I'm, I'm around people when they say, well, this character, because I'll always be there saying Scorpion. Well, I can argue, and I will always be talking talk about Deathstroke if that's what you want. What? Yeah, Deathstroke I'll always is be that, nowhere near as bad as you think. This dude acts like Deathstroke was Joker. Hey, and Never. one thing that we one thing that we really we'll come back to this one thing we really didn't talk about bounce cancels like are now one uh, one bar a meter, not two bars a meter. That's actually really good. That's very practical, and that gives you all ex- these extra fifty fifty mix ups now. Wait, really? They made the bounce cancels one instead of two? Yeah, I, I just realized that. That's actually massive, in my opinion. What, what line is that? I just saw that, in a, and someone posted in a thread. Here, I'll, uh... Oh, I, actually, in our, in our Atlanta thread, Rena Rex just said something about, like, bounce cancels being one bar is amazing. Wait, but it didn't say it in the patch notes, right? I don't know. That's what he said. I'll, I'll look it up right now. I'm playing some Zantana. Yeah, because I don't remember seeing that in the patch notes. Yeah, that's huge. I would have noticed that. Hey, let me check. Let me well, check. you know who just got a lot better with that? Killer Frost. 50 50s everywhere. One bar. Ugh. <laughs> like, yeah, it's awesome. Ugh. <laughs> Here, I, I'm, about to beat, I'm about to beat this Satana. Now look it up. It's free. No, I'm just reading the bet. What did you guys say? I'm trying to find it. Bounce, 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 bounce cancels? Are they one bar or two bar? When you do a string and it cancel into oh okay okay okay, I don't I don't see anything about that. Let me see. I mean, be at the top. Yeah, yeah. Can't believe this dude had the nerve to say scorpion. He takes no skill winning with scorpion. <laughs> you couldn't even win with scorpion. Truth. <laughs> Are you serious? I was beating some people. And like the first what day. What tournaments I've been... have you won playing playing Scorpion back then? What tournaments has anybody won playing Scorpion? Exactly. Maybe it wasn't as bad as everyone thought. Because it was bad so quickly, we never found out. Yeah, never mind. I don't see that at all. No, uh, that's not on there. The only thing it says is about. Um... Let me reply. Like, what are you talking about? 
The only thing it says is it costs two bars of meter to apply meter burn properties to it. Yeah, he probably, he probably read something wrong. Yeah. No, yeah, like I said, it just says that meter burning interactable objects requires two bars. Okay, I was about to say, shit, man, the game just got nutty. <laughs> like, I, I just you just gave Sinestro all these extra 50-50s up close now. All right. Like four, yeah. four, two, like four, two, down one, four, four, meter burn. You know, that, that should be great. <sighs> that just makes me a little irritated, though. What does? How you want to say Scorpio took him skill to win with. However, someone like me sat here and I never said anything like, oh, Black Adam Superman taking him skill to win with. I just said nothing. But play hey, Rio, do any, do any, does this need to get Tom in here? I'm just saying it's beating stupid. people 30 like to, to and one. And so to what? Go. You have people like Rico and, and uh, KDZ beating people 20 -0. Do you see me saying that they take no skill to win with? No, they, but they're, you're, they're using high tier characters though. Hey, what, Here's, you... um, what is all this bias against Scorpion, though? Because he's not an MK character, the rules don't apply? What's up? Dave, hey, when are you going to go back to tournaments? <laughs> I'm going to go... Yeah, they have Scorpion's been patched. You're free to come now. Well, you already talked about it. I told you guys privately what I'm doing right now. And I, I said I will, go, I will be back at any seat. That's what I said. Dave, you know you have so much pressure on you, the way you can talk on the forums. I hope don't play a fucking Deathstroke player, dude, because you better watch that. <laughs> do you, do you, do you, do you, you think... I am so secure in how bad the character is. If you think I feel pressure, then you don't know me. I don't feel anything. I don't care about getting blown up, man. I don't <laughs> care about... If I win, I win. If I don't, then I don't. It's just what it is for me. I don't care what people say about me. Also, have you guys been following the, uh, the pl playing to win uh, Lethal Legend like uh, rivalry? There's a, there's, a, there's a rivalry? Well, not really. Playing to win uh, just basically like... <laughs> He always like throws comments at legends like you're such a shitty player. This that. that. Oh, okay, okay. Have you seen all? Seen all that? It's, it's, yeah. It, I don't know. I find it funny. I always read their. Well, little, I'll take the play to it. He doesn't like test your mind. He thinks there's a lot of morons on there who, who don't know what they're talking about. That's what he thinks about test your mind. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, you guys want to wrap it up? How long have we been doing this already? Three hours. Yeah, yeah. I think that's three hours. Really? Yeah. It's already been three uh -huh. hours. Nah. What has it been like two? Yeah, it's only two hours. But do you guys have any last words about the patch that you guys want to talk about? I mean, I'm fine. I just, I just can't wait for it to come out and you know, actually see how the game is going to develop. I mean, that's all I want to say. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, judging from the community's eyes, I feel like this patch did nothing for them because months from now, they're all going to be crying about the new set of top tiers, just like they cried about Black Adam and Superman. And just like before that, they cried about Aquaman and Killer Frost. Mm -hmm. It's. It's it's a never ending cycle. Where do where do we see the game's life? Do do we think that this patch helped increase the game's life? Do we do, do we see the game in a healthy state right now? I mean, you can't know. You can't know until the game comes out because you can't really say how balanced it's gonna be. You yeah, what if the really... patch comes out and Black Adam moves like an inch backwards? He doesn't even move any space, and that's his back dash. <laughs> what would that be? Like we, you can't really know anything until you like sit down, play the game, check out all the matchups, and see. Cause some of these changes are big. Yeah. You know, even all the look at all some of the arena changes. Look at some of the changes that they did to the interactive. Yeah, we, this well, is, yeah, we talked about that when you were like uh, getting more beer or coffee or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, <laughs> so it's big, man, and you can't know until you sit down and play the game. That's the difference. You I know, think only, I think that that insurgency insurgency stage nerf is pretty huge. Because you I know, don't know how the fuck you dodge those fucking TVs if you're naming Batman. You can't. Yo, you know who loves that nerf? Killer Frost. <laughs> Kill, Killer Frost and Nightwing. Yeah. Well, you know who doesn't care about interactable nerfs? Zod. Zod. Yeah. Oh, Zod you players... know who I would have been playing that you would never touch interactable score? Being... <laughs> oh, yeah. You took that away from me. <laughs> Here, here's, the, here's the thing, though. You, you know, Tom always tells us. Yo, guys, you know what? This Superman corner combo, I don't know what that looks like. Zod player should say, you know what? You know what a whiffing interactable looks like? We don't know what that looks like. No, Scorpion I'm... player should say that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Dave, Dave, when's the last time you've missed, missed the throwing interactable? I don't know. Like, I don't even, that's what I keep telling my local communities. Like, King, you know what? I don't know what whiffing interactable looks like because mine always hit. So 
Yeah, and, and so, sorry, bro. Sorry, Batman. Now when I jump in the air and I got trade out, you no longer can tra- parry my trades. <laughs> yeah, gotta, exactly. You got to eat that 20% forward hanging from the top of the ceiling of Metropolis. Same thing you with Killer Frost. You got you to gotta, you gotta eat that, uh, that uh, Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, right. oh. I, I, while I have you guys on here, I want to test something. Do, well, first of all, do you guys know on the Fortress of Solitude, you can shoot a full screen projectile at somebody from full screen away, and you can use the interactable full screen away. Yep, I used the Martian Manor with the orbs. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's amazing. Like, um, wait, 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 what? The jet? What are you talking about? Yeah, like, no, 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 no. The on cannon the right, on the right. The, the right side, that teleporter thing. Yeah. Yeah, the little ter- the transporter thing on the Fortress of Solitude, like on the right side. Like, if you're full screen away and, and that that's in the picture. But you hit them with like a projectile, and they jump in the air, and you hit them with it. You can meter, you can uh, interactable dash forward back three. Oh really? I didn't know that. You're also able to do the same thing with um, the Metropolis gun. Yeah. Okay. So I had a I had a bug happen the other day. I was on um, the Strikers Island where the barrels are, where you could just stand in the middle and throw barrels at people. Mm-hmm. So I went in the air and threw a barrel at somebody, and. Um, they got hit, but before they got hit, they like pressed the interactable button, and somebody shot me. What? Yeah. What you like you know, like on Metropolis, uh, Metropolis, yeah. like the road. You Wait, know, you but you're like, talking about the barrel stage. There's no guns there. Exactly. I but I got shot by some kind of interactable. What did it look like though? Like was it, it, it bullets or the laser? It bullets. Bullets. What? Yeah, yeah. I, I, it Were was you like, playing against Deathstroke? Uh, no, I was playing against uh, who was I playing last night? Oh, Wound Cowboy. I was playing Wound Cowboy. You were playing against Sinestro, and what, what did Aqu- the thing... No, 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 it was Aquaman. He was using Aquaman all night. Okay, what What did the projectile you got shot by look like? It made the same sound effect like Metropolis does. Like, you know? What on earth? Yeah, it was a. Ama- and I just sat there, and I was like, wait, what? Like, <laughs> like, like, I, 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 no, like, I, I, I definitely jumped up to shoot him with a barrel. And, you know, last time I checked, Aquaman didn't have guns. <laughs> So it, I, I just, I'm dead so wait, serious. This happened. Did it juggle him more? Like, what happened? Uh, no, no. It, I went. Just up. made the graphic effect. Oh, you got hit. I got hit throwing the barrels in the middle of the screen. I got hit by a gun when I jumped up to throw the barrel. Did you take damage? Yeah. What if someone wins a tournament like that? Like I don't know, but it blew the barrel. <laughs> but I, I just thought about it right now. I need to go and check that real quick. I don't know what to say, man. I just yeah, don't. It, s- it, Maybe there's a gun hidden somewhere on the map, and it was in the beta. They didn't program. I don't know. Yeah, it'd be kind of cool. I don't know. It was it was really freaking me out. That's really. I mean, I guess every stage now just mash interactable button. Maybe there'll be a secret gun somewhere. Yeah, I, I, I'm seriously about to go try it right now. Uh, let's see. <coughs> I gotta, I gotta beat this Aquaman player who thinks he's badass. All right. All right, I'm going to go test this real quick. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to throw the barrel in the air and just have the computer just... I'm going to program the AI to hit the interactable button over and over and over. You see if I get hit by it. Well, I wouldn't be surprised to see more glitches, that's for sure. It'd be amazing. What if it's already patched up? I don't know. All right, I'm going to check that real quick. What's up with this? What, what did they do with random? Did they, the random stage select? Is there something that changed? No, no, but basically when you go to the stage select now... Player, when player one hits the, you know, the A button, and you hit the A button, yeah, both those are random stages now. So and the, and the, you, the just, you just take, you just take it. No, they used to not be random. It used to like okay. player two would always land on a particular stage, I guess. Oh, okay. I think I don't know. No, play was player two could never land on a second transition part. It would always be in the first level map. Oh, okay, okay. So oh. all those, yes, yeah, so all those second available maps, you know, the second parts of stages weren't available for player two. All right, so you can random them. All right, Sinestro. I got Sinestro here. Let's see. I'm going to do record. I'm just it also ha- says slightly reduce the amount of meter gain on specials that can be canceled. Batgirl. It's kind yeah, of enough for her. And even Zod, though. The, the, the low laser cancels. Right? Yeah, but not as big as yeah. Batgirl. Yeah. And it's, it's definitely not doing it. I don't know. I, I, I'm not making this up. Like, I was literally hit out of the air by guns. 
<laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it was almost like it kept like the Metropolis data and thought <laughs> I was really on Metropolis. Although I was in the air throwing a barrel, I got shot. It would have been amazing if I would have recorded that. I mean, you never know with this game, man. You know, sometimes just weird, weird stuff happens. Yeah, whatever. All right, let's wrap. Let's wrap up the podcast. We're we're just kind of rambling, talking about random stuff. Okay. <laughs> whatever. People are gonna do what they want. All yeah. right. Well, that's the end of the podcast. Uh, I don't know when we're gonna have the next episode. We'll we'll find some some subject to talk about. I'm sure, especially after the patch drops. Yeah. What you guys are bitching about then. I also want to apologize for the outburst we had earlier. Very unprofessional, but I mean, I can't help it. Scorpion boils my blood. The whole scorpion drama. Well, I feel the same about Destro. Shut up, Dave. <laughs> to this day, man. I the character know. was never bad to begin with. All right, pig. <laughs> yeah, and this right. is we're getting the same damn arguments. Okay. <laughs> All right, and m- maybe one day we'll have the return of Tom Brady and see what he has to say about everything. Exactly. Yeah, I'm sure he'll have a lot to say. We'll, we'll, we'll just all play Injustice like with each other in a three-man KOH and just have Tom talk for three hours. <laughs> we'll all right. Yeah, okay. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. All right, cool, man. We're out. This is episode eight, and see you guys later.